Yes, every day. I'll fix you. I don't know how yet, but I will.
knock, knock. Hello.
Um, you, Phoenix. Uh, I have your shirt here. Sorry, I can't look at your lanterns. That's that's fine. My hand is in front. Just take it out of my hands. Okay, there you go. Harry, right, enjoy. I cleaned it up as best as I could, and I stitched it. How much do I owe you? Oh, just a few copper. I will fetch it from inside and pay you in time. Okay. Alright, feel free to just give it to me whenever. I need to get back into town because I have a lot more to give. Of course. Thank you, Molly. No problem. Trace town. Oh, to your right, down the path. Okay. Further. Oh, okay. There you are. I guess you didn't hear me uh, knocking early, that's fine. <sighs> but yes, there you are. Is there something you needed me for, Justin? Uh, yep, just uh, under some bits, I think. Phoenix. That voice. Aubrey. Um, I need to apologize to you. What is this? For lying. I... Um... Uh, the... I'm not the one you know. I can see. Um, that, that may find I, a long time ago. Where you and Aubrey were traveling together, yes? We were. And you guys got well, had to split up for a while. We did. I met her in Phoenix. Well, after you ended up putting up, and I. She found me very injured and helped me. What did you do? He proposed use of that rune. It's one that lets the user sacrifice their body to save the uh, consciousness of another. What?
She. Sacrifice to save me. Yes. Very kind. Oh, hello. God, you come here. The way the moon works, I got to keep her memories, all of that, and I uh, I on used the French to kind of just, uh, terms a couple of look like her. I was too afraid to. Right. I admit it. Uh, I don't know about Shall not who I really was. I knew how close yeah, you sure. two were together. Start raising stuff with the other two guards. Yeah, go for it. No, I was, I was and I'm honestly I scared to show who I really am. I don't exactly like my kind. But I got that part. But yeah, yeah. I'll be with you. Oh, I'm sorry for stealing your friend's likely likelihood. And lying. She's... She's not... Yeah. I'm sorry. And you, you... You took... You took... Her form... And deceived me? If you wish, I will offer you my life. Whether you wish to use me, take me, kill me, whatever. I don't care. I know what I have done. It's like someone who not only helped you, but also helped me. Lied and... Oh, that. I should have known. I should have smelled the difference between you two. The Aubrey I met, she was kind and caring enough. But you, you warned me of deceit. You told me nothing but lies. You took her form. I only did it because I was scared. Fear should not be an obstacle. Truth is a matter of justice, and you... <sighs> She's gone. And now all I am left is with you. Memories of her are left in you. The only reason I have not torn your head from your shoulders is because she... Parts of her still live within you. The act of preparing me for an omission of a lie does not spare you from my wrath, neither. You have dishonored yourself. You have dishonored me. And you dishonored the memory of Aubrey. I'm sorry. As I said, you wish. You wish you may take my life. Or use me in whatever way you want. I'll pledge myself to you. Everything that I am. Whether you wish to torture me and... That anger out. <laughs> Lifts you up. <laughs> Do not offer yourself to me like a slave. I will have no part in owning anyone. I will not submit to ideals such as that. Do you understand me? I am I not... To someone is different than owning. Look at me. 
As I have spoken, I will not kill you. But I am not happy with your existence. From here on out, you will tell us nothing but the truth. And if I find out that you have lied to us once more, I will handle you. And there is nothing, no one, who will be able to stop me. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Be gone before I devour your flesh. Larger footfalls. That's either Flora or Phoenix. I'll be happy of one. I'll be very happy of one. I apologize to disappoint them. Ah, Phoenix, you and your own right is a delight. Ah. Morning.
Phoenix is on the move. What will he oh, find? Cool. We never know. Phoenix, are you gonna be there for the? Well, that was fucking rude. Are you gonna be there for the uh, combat training? I. Yes, I. I'll be there. Okay, good. Be there or be square. Uh-huh.
It does Where's look the... like a minted coin, though. It has the face of someone on it. Very confused. This coin has, like, hair on it. Who's <sighs> Phoenix? There you go. Hang your rock dick. Hey, Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix, Phoenix how are you? Greetings. Oh, it's been a while, but, uh... Wanna do that right now? I don't want to ban anything. <laughs> you want to do it maybe somewhere... Uh, a little bit more by the harbour side in that sense. Make sure it's a little bit more spacious. Ah, oh, it's fine. I don't really trust my control right now to do that without destroying things, so I'm not going to do that. No, you're fine, like I said. Again, keeping it up to you, it's all good. You said also that she started talking to you. What did she say? Have you ever bit one of those things? Ah, uh, she wants me home, and I've been naughty, and uh, oh, I need to finish my work. <laughs> fucking whooped his dick. I'm not letting you fucking have him. Not fucking whooped this dick. She can't fucking do that. That's fine. She's not fucking taking you. Not letting that happen. Yeah, little one. Greetings. Careful, careful little one. I know you've just recently eaten some glass. Just be careful. Don't explode near oh, people. Hello. You know, don't want to hurt them. Hello. I require woodwork, hey, if possible, please. Eh, uh, sure. What specifically <laughs> need? Um, um, work. <laughs> I have this violin, and I need pegs for it. I'm gonna get my shield, I'll be back no, in a minute. That can simply happen. Yeah. Hello. Where is your device? Yes. Do you just want them uh, hanging in? Basically or right at the border yeah, of said. the map. Well, like, as far oh, towards yeah, the forest. Can, you know, like, near the, the, the rock slide? Right, do that. Mm -hmm. Let me just quickly... Does it actually exist you know where the, right. where the magic... Where the... Where the bead was? Mom, the where, legs. where the magic bead was? You know, the other side? Oh, Oh, yeah. Basically around there. So he would have bent. Basically, the area has been bent. Since I won't be on the mission, I want to respond you to while in his right. intro. So I want to entrust something to you. Melody. Melody. She. She was one of the people that oh, had brainwashed previously. I don't know. And. I just. Oh my goodness. When you're there with her, just watch her. Okay. Hello. You have my word. If, if um, Hulk really is still alive, who knows if she could get brainwashed again. Lovely to see you, darling. Thank you. You're having a hard time, huh? You are right, a you. pain. I'm no, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I just... Uh, I'm fine. I've already been to medical. Just a, a bit of um, trouble yeah, last night. It's fine. Any silver coins uh, on the ground, do not good. trust mm. them. If you need further assistance, find me. But I may ask for some assistance in training as well. I am not proficient in combat yet. It's a jewelry mimic. Oh, that's surprising. I can. Fight with my bare hands, but I don't down. know my way around a sword yet. Uh, that makes so much they sense. were saying, mm. they were saying something it's about jewelry eating jewelry and right. them. Well, if you want to train, come find me. Seen Earl? Well, I mean, I know it's uh, hard to see, but have you, has anyone seen Earl deep. around? He's not here. Maybe He's in Suda. Ate someone's like money bag. He's what? He opened a portal gate with an item, and he fled to Suna. He is 
where we believe elders currently. I guess the thing that created the portal was from the shipwreck. Most likely. Arnie has more details than I do. If you are curious about it, I suggest asking her. not a real coin. I squish it immediately. It's a bug. Okay. Just... So the weird chest of all that stuff? Oh, no, this is, this is from a separate box. Um, found in the same, like... Oh. But, but like, yeah. Uh, hold on, he's like with, this. he's Usually with Elk? Cool. Is he okay? What with the mortal uh, well stuff? Why? Well, uh, he's gonna be fine. Right. 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 I need assistance. How do they what? Know okay. What you need, lead? The blade. I'm attempting yeah, to sharpen it. But there are still spots and dings along the sides. I cannot forge them out. I have a neighbor yet, but I'm gonna... I saw her in the guild huh. hall eating. So if could be, give me a second here. I mean, when they're that small, they're not cheap. It's so buff. I, I wish I was buff. It sounds like they eat gold. Wait a minute. Mm. Oh, if we figure out a way to get yourself a new body or something, so don't you can be whatever you want to be. Oh, no. I want I big pecs like yours. <laughs> or breasts. I haven't oh, no. decided yet. So, so you could treat it with some. You could treat it with specific mixtures. Specifically, it could be from an alchemical reaction. Maybe uh, acid it off a little bit and then find, oh, make sure it's nice and comfortable again. But uh, yeah, no, I think I got a tincture for that. Might have to burn it a little bit with some acid. Hold it for a moment. I, I don't know if I'm remembering correctly, but when Melody said she mentioned some silver trading company when talking about oak. Yeah. Escaping to soon the other day. day. Oh, mm. well, uh, that, that, that was your company. Yeah, that. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. a yeah. weird yeah. noise. Oh, the statue that fell over yeah. due to no outside of her bed. So, right. Give me Phoenix. Right. Well, place it down. Hello. Yeah. These are. We can see how you silver coins on the ground. Watch them because they're not. I don't know, I'm just starting to Can't get myself a swab over here. Yeah. 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 says. Yeah. 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 He might be wrong, but either way, if they ordered that kill him, they knocked over a statue. So what's going to happen is it's going to definitely cause some of the spots to acid itself off. It's going to basically re-stain some of the metal, which in itself is not a bad thing, but you might have to make sure it's a reheat. In that sense, maybe put some flux on it as well. Make sure that the make sure that the uh, blade itself stays hard. If, as soon as if we burn it off too much with the acid, there's a good chance that it can one either become dull, that or brittle. And as soon as it becomes brittle, you might as well throw the entire thing out. Blade will become useless. And then we cut some of them off the process. Rick. Oh, you yeah. spot I thought you said tog. Anyway, that's horrible. Know, yeah, no, that's questionable because he was one of the few people yeah. that knew what the boat was I doing. looked over his papers yeah, so already. Yeah. Right. Okay, so what's going to happen with this one is, hold it by the hilt only, do not touch it by the blade. I'm at about a... What's going to happen is, you're going to hold this thing for the next two minutes. After that, quench it, uh, quench it in the oil. Just make sure complete acid is completely off. It's fine about the entire thing, about water and everything, it's fine. Do that, once you're done with that, dry it with a rag, and after that you can go again when it comes to making it uh, sharp again. If it then stays dull, put it back in the forge, add some fluxes on top of it, make sure that it's nicely coated, make sure that the entire thing is sort of powdered a little bit. Fuck you mean, uh, flux? Anyways, I poured it all on myself the other day to try and stop the itching. Okay. He did. I watched okay. him do it. Uh, paper, paper, paper. Where's paper? Where? Paper? Uh... Paper. Just in the back over there, with the... with the crates. Uh, the one on the right. Right, so let me just get the swat out of here. There we go. Wait, just, just here. Oh, there she is. So... Right there. Hello. It's fine. You can hold this for the... 
Okay. Uh, you write it down for a second. I'm gonna be right back. Uh, you hold the sword. I'm gonna check in with Cassandra. I'll put some gold on the table. We'll make sure she gets it. Go for it. Uh, I'll be right back. Just one second. See you for are you still trying to do the whole song thing? The really partial signs, but it's still oh, yeah. something. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a song. I mm. want that. Song? Are you yeah. sure about doing that? Yes. Partial symbols will be okay, yeah? You sure it won't like, make things know. worse? Oh, partial fuck, symbols? Oh, no, it's fine. I'll be right back. Yeah, I had to, um, oh, you left the string had to get some symbols that's still on the bar. Oh, I have the bar down there. Uh, oh, the bar. is, that the, is so, that the egg okay. thing oh, from the from the chest? Just, yeah, this is the egg. I'm gonna leave that here. Let Bing read it. It plays a horrible song. Don't, don't, don't. It's very important. Close, just fucking close it. Also, oh, no, it is. Do you know that the, the guild has like a, a like a ritual? I think that's the worst thing I've ever heard. That's niche good. I don't know if it hurts my ears. Yeah, I just jumped across. I helped make that. It's like grinding metal. Okay. Scratching metal. What's all that stuff in like the corner of the room? A big pile of stuff. Like salt? Oh, no, that's cold. Yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's like uh, ash or something like that. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's my or... leftovers. It's magically infused yeah, ash. Yeah, lost it. Oh, it's... okay. Mm -hmm. oh. To meet the lines. For no, making the sigils. Oh, right. Something so you can... Oh, okay. with, with, with the, I, yeah, uh, I don't know. voices followed me and I had to complete this song. Oh, my gosh. She just sprints oh. everywhere, doesn't she? So now I just keep I this with me it. in case they come at me again. Oh, oh do we, do we, okay, let's, got, let's go, 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 let's Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Phoenix. Once you're done with it, if you see the sword is no longer sharpened and it's starting to become brittle, flux it, put it in the furnace, go for about five minutes. Once you're done with that, give it a new re-smithing, make sure it's nice and shape again. Once you're done with that, back to the back to the grindstone, and it should be fine. Phoenix! We're training. Is the snow? There's only partial rooms, mm. not gonna okay, lie, well, I couldn't really get all of them. Ah, yes, that's so, fine. Most of them are destroyed, but I still draw them, so... You're good. If you want to try Phoenix, I don't mind taking the sword over if you tell me who the client is. If you would, please. To, um... Of course, lad. Come here. Yes, sorry. Oh. Good. Hi, Who's the sword? What's his face? I have not quenched it yet. It's a long sword, yeah. hand and a half. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Still though, uh, tell anybody about what's this who is this sword going to? Or is this some passion project you're working on? It's mine. Fair enough. All I wanted to hear. I'll work on it. You get yourself prepared. I'm thinking. All good. If it's somebody from last Thank night, you, though, we don't talk about last night with anybody. Of course, Maybe of Nishka. Course. Uh, don't tell Finish. anybody any names. Two things. Okay. One. It's very Thank you so much for taking care of the smithy while I was gone. Uh, I was more taking time uh, off for safety reasons after everything that happened with Elk. And two. Don't overwork yourself, lad. It's my job. Yeah. The weight we both carry. It's greater than we both know. Exhaustion is inevitable. So what are you doing now? Might as well. I might be true, I yes. I've done everything I But you were a warrior, do. yeah? I'm the merchant. You need to be in top shape, not me. I suppose. Regardless, like I said, lad. I genuinely appreciate it, right? Wait. What? You mean Ophelia? Okay. Train is starting down there. Yep, it's starting oh, down there. I see. 
here. Um, <laughs> uh, the death bunny head in his hat. It's got the gold oh. head. Hey, bud. Get over there. Fame. My thoughts aren't going very fast right now, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit of a bore. I've never really experienced this before. What exactly is Hex? Yeah, you're doing the right, I Phoenix. I have seen better days. Well, um, mm. my flesh is falling off. Uh, yeah, um, it sure and, is. Um, I'm sort of losing control of. You got my any CPR or are you still. I'm kind of heating up a yeah. lot. I have rested, yes, um, but no. I, I am dealing with something else now. Best you not worry. Let me feel better, yes. Let me see. I appreciate your concern, Vilel. I always like your mom. In fact, I will need something from you later as well. Oh, hmm. oh. He's really concentrating on that. I'm always open to help. I don't know if it works like this at all, but again, I will talk when we finish our training. If it can help at all. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, darling. My problem is right now, I think I have too much. I keep spontaneously bursting into flames. Or more flames oh. than I usually am. Oh, uh, spontaneously, eh? Yeah. Smart move. Oh. Uh, I I'm full of plans, oh. so I'm. Okay, hold on. Uh, um, you know. Would want to know if, uh, I'm full of fire. Yeah. And lava. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I know the other day that uh, Otto was manifesting and packing up magic, so if you need a place to get rid of some, maybe he can help you out. Well, let's, we'll have to see how things go. Because I generally have no clue anymore. Thanks for letting me know and not letting me know uh, like, at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm just, just here to, uh, to take part in the thing because okay, I'm, yeah, so... okay. I'm on the team. Uh, yeah, okay, so. Are you good to be on the team? So it'll be fine. Right. We'll, we'll see. see. Okay, so. He's coming on the mission. Talia, um, Arvis, Edmund. Aubrey, Sildan, and, uh, and, and Earl, but Earl's not here for now. Judge yeah, no, we're going to go in, that's why. Okay, so... Uh, oh, yeah, and Manny, too. So, yeah. well, basically, yeah. some of you clearly don't know how to, you know, hold a yeah. spear or anything, no offence, well, I'm, I'm sorry. For out. Yeah. So we're gonna learn. Alright. I know we did some tra- I know some of us did some training a couple days ago, but we're gonna carry on. Who's got, who has actual, like, you know, combat experience? I have, I have combat theory. Not the same. Not, yeah, not I've been really hit with a sword. You've got... Oh, yeah, you've been hit with a sword. I got shot. I know you can, Tyler. Uh, I know the basics. We don't talk about that, okay? That... You like... <laughs> okay, whatever. Whatever, alright. Okay. <laughs> I'll leave you guys to this. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, okay. Oh, look. Okay. So cute. What? Oh, that's yeah. better than a sword. Oh, okay. He said he okay. wants to practice. Yes. We're going to practice. So, oh. we're going to get weapons. We're going to see how. You deal with, you know, using your weapons and all that. It can help you get, a, you know, 
few tricks under your hand beforehand before we go on the mission. Is that okay? Quaff to crab up. I... <laughs> I'm also wondering what's going to happen. Quaff to and cheer. Woo! I mean, I'd, 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 I'd oh. hope that somebody would be like, okay. Not one person, not I'm... one single soul. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know, I'm just trying to be polite. Really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel like okay. saying okay, but I'm definitely not come on the mission, so... Come here, just grab so. a weapon. Some love, just come grab Anybody a weapon. Anybody can do with a bit of combat training. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mission or not. Alright. Yeah, come sure back to these nuts. Got... Brooding, brooding. In lots oh, of you didn't have any nuts. In lots of pain and depressed. Oh my god. And... Well, it just... My, uh, my shackles are flaring up. I'm in immense pain. Oh. She might not be in any condition to go on the mission. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, let's 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 try and see Squaffle. His um nature um got the damage. I think. I don't want to die. Oh, I feel really bad. I kind of don't want to force him on this mission. But it's very easy if you just throw a cup of water on me. I don't want him to go on the mission if he's in the state, really. It's I know he was a lot better a couple of days ago, but it's just getting worse. He can barely hold his hand. Okay, yeah, no, I don't think. Hold on, I don't think. Good enough to go. That you'll we'll be get no, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm that, golden. I, lost that. I can do it. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna have one made for you, you the blacksmith them. before the mission. Okay. Do you think I had to Okay, give me another try. I can do it. <laughs> it's, it's just a simple help. Do you need like a was ready. <laughs> I was ready. I can do it this time. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I could come <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You can't even hold yourself up. Uh, crushing side. Good. I can barely hold oh, myself man. together, darling. <laughs> you okay? Pick me up, though? Okay, yeah, no. Here, pick no, up this I'm, sword. I'm, I'm, I... Okay. okay. Right. Okay. Get to train on those dummies. Right. <laughs> Come on, Phoenix. <laughs> no, he's going at it wrong. Phoenix, <laughs> I got in. You're gonna make me fucking cry. This is so depressing. Show me moves, come on. <laughs> Remember your spacing. Don't hit anyone next to you. I might actually be better if I go over here. Hmm? <laughs> oh, there's whatever. Uh, there's pretty okay. Well, that went straight through. <laughs> you might be good at actually doing proper. Instead of fighting against a dummy, you might be actually. Hey, Gail. Yeah. How do you feel about training, like actually doing com some like actual hand to hand or sword to sword fighting with Phoenix here? Yeah, sure. He's up for it. I am merely wildly swing swinging my blade. I have no form. It would not be a fair fight. All right then. Then Gail can teach you. He's good with wielding a sword. I suppose. Tips and tricks. Harvest, you got your own sword. What we're here for. Amounts of violence is literally all I'm good for. Mm. <laughs> I refuse violence. You can help uh, anyone who's. Uh, mm. Get one made for you in time. Here. All right. Oh. All right. Let's you gonna see. stick to using through. one like that, Saber? Something like this would be pretty yeah, good. Sort of comfortable. Okay. You ain't always fucking tested the fact that you're already fucking making noises. Alright. No, no. So, 
No, you're better than the normal. You're just using a simple blade like this. The most important thing you're going to need to remember and keep a focus on is your edge alignment, which means in the most simplest term, make sure you hit them with the actually sharp part. So make sure your your attacks move smoothly through. Because uh, if you start flailing too much, very often you'll actually just slap with the side of the sword and that's not going to do anything. So a lot of the basics comes from just understanding how the weapon moves through the air so you can use it properly just hit them with the sharp bit so if you want we can do a very very basic drill to get you used to the different kind of basic movements of the sword if you like I suppose. Okay. So, all right. So, uh, this is going to be this is called the eight point drill. It's very simple. I'm going to attack one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Very simple. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shall I use the shield of the blade to block? Uh, whatever is most comfortable. The only thing I will say with a shield is one thing you don't want to do, especially with a great shield like that, is if somebody is coming this way. It's very tempting to reach across with your shield to block, but that becomes right right there. You are completely blinding yourself to anything on the other side of the shield. So your shield should be focused on blocking, like completely cutting off this entire side of you. And so you will always have your weapon as another shield, like another defensive measure, as well as constantly keeping yourself able to retaliate. Because if I come this way and you block with your shield, then a heavy sidekick could come, could like help push you back. Or or because I, I blinded you, then coming down at your toes, or even uh, offering it, it also offers people to to grab a shield easier. Because when it's off to your side. It's hard for me to manipulate and screw with your shield. So it should always be keeping it nice and up like this. Down if you need. Yep. Yes. Bam. And up a bit. Good. Yep. But no matter what, you should always be open. should always be able to see the center of my chest. No matter what you're doing with your shield. Oh, because if you can see the center of my chest, you can see how my body is moving and respond to it properly. There you go. Okay. So now uh, I want you to do that, that eight point drill, just focusing on the actual sword movements uh, with the shield. So attack two above, two to the center, two low, one high, and then a stab. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to get you to defend against that. One, two, three, four, five, six, good, seven, and eight. Yep. Good. So when defending against a, uh, a stab, especially straight to your center, uh, you want to do either one of two things. You either want to just simply use your sword to 
tap it to the side. And for you, you'd want to tap it to your outside. Because I could tap it to my inside because I have I have no shield here. Because if I if you tap it to the inside, suddenly my sword is trapped between uh, your shield arm, which gives me a lot of openings here, rather than just being able to like knock my sword this way. So, so you'd want to be able to just either tap, or uh, you could do a full sweep and, and get like a nice uh, smack away full power like that. Allow me to attempt. Yep. Good. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna do that that again as it back and forth with a little more up to speed, okay? I'll attack first. I'll use the same pattern. I would go for a thrust at the end, but that's just good, good. Okay. Now for you. Do a lot of damage. Good, good. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go back and forth. We're going to use the same attack, same simple, simple eight techniques. But we're just going to mix it up back and forth, all right? Okay, I'll start us off. Good. One thing I'm starting to notice already is that you're getting to a rhythm of threes. And then if your opponent starts to notice that, it becomes a lot easier for them to dictate the rhythm of combat. So instead of just doing a three hit combo every time, sometimes do a two, four, or five. You know, mix it up. Don't be too comfortable in one rhythm. Okay? All right. So let's go a little faster this time. Good, good, good. There we go. All right. No, no, you're doing great. Yeah. You take to this pretty naturally. Yeah, good reflexes, good strength. All right. One thing you always need to remember when it comes to a double-edged sword is that it has two edges. Very often, a lot of new uh, swordsmen focus too much on your true edge. You still have a false edge. For example... <laughs> no problem, no problem. A very good simple thing that tends to catch a lot of untrained individuals off guard is a strike and then a strike coming back with the rear edge or even just simply going straight for the rear edge 
can be very tricky to see coming. And when it comes to thrusting, obviously in the, in, in the training it was just to center of mass, but you can go straight for the face, you can go for the leg, you can go for the inner arm, wherever you can see that opening. Oh, shit. Let's go one more time. Well, apparently the last blackout I had, aside from the one tonight, was walking through town, speaking in my natural voice, and very hot and burning around. We mean burning around. She actually would have left herself open for that one, though. I you're not going to Well, I've had a lot of practice, and don't don't worry about it. He's good. So I asked him to help. I suppose. I suppose. Good use of the false edge. Oh. Ooh, okay. I would not want to do it. Yeah. It's like you're using your shield to bash your entire body as a weapon. You have claws, you have horns. If you get even in a in a clash like this, pushing the sword away, hitting with the shield, a headbutt, a kick. Use it. Everything you can to win a fight. I do not wish to hurt you. Yeah, you just pricked me a little. Oh, I understand. We have healers, a little a couple bruises ain't gonna. Just don't. You know, take me out fully. A little a little bop with your shield won't kill me. Try to hold the tool. Okay. Good. See if anybody else needs help. Of course. And Phoenix, right? Correct. Did very good, Phoenix. Thank you, Gail. I presume. Yes. Likewise. <laughs> All right. Let's see what everybody else is doing. Okay, how did you find that training? Well, at least that fighting. Do you feel a bit better? 
in? Do you feel like you've learned at least a few things in prepare for the uh, mission? I have. Ahead? Yes. It should prove useful. Perhaps I will survive longer. Oh, why have you got to say it like that? I can just blind myself. I am prepared die. for the worst. <sighs> well, I like to as well, but I don't... Think about the doom and gloom, my friend. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen. We'll be fine. Alright? Hey, uh, Gail's gonna use this yes. with Arvis to, uh... Aye. Teach him how to handle, uh, fighting against dual-edged weapons. Okay. I'm a little concerned about. Alright, hold on. Attack me. Let me. Let's see. Let's see where you are. Yeah. Not sure uh, He's on the mission. On the I don't think it's a good. I, his body's literally cr crumbling on him. Yeah. I don't know. What to I don't do want about him to that. go to a place that one could kill him. It is so, we are like it's literally kryptonite there. The, Any drop of water yeah. will kill him. Can I put this. Um, openings. Perhaps that is what he wants. Attacking holes for too long. I don't know. So you're, you're striking and then holding it. I don't think you seem to understand. Yeah, that would be a talk that you, you have to have speed, with him. With such a lighter weapon. So for example, I'll back up a little bit so I don't hit you. It should be okay. more along the lines of... I need to go talk to him. Sure. Oh, I'll go grab him. Yeah, uh, well, I, I, I can go quick grab. I need to go talk to him. Okay. Alright. Alright. You come at me a little faster this time. Okay. Give a seat, make sure nobody loses a phone. Too bad. Alright, now let's see how your defenses are. I'll go, I'll go a little slower. Okay. Let's go again. Hmm. Alright, so that's one thing you want to be really worried about with somebody with a double-edged blade, Tom. is the false edge. Because the edge will be facing me. Alright? But if I swing through this way, then I can come back this way with it. Oh, I should turn my blade off. Mm -hmm. right. I need to sort of reposition myself. Just yeah, I'll try it. Yeah. Or at the very yeah, least, just... just... <laughs> It's, 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 all, it's not so much strength, it's where on your blade you're blocking. No, it's not blood. So, for example, you're good. if, did you, did you, did you if I'm magma? here on your sword, so I'm uh, closer up well, to my hand, I, think you, the I have more leather, so it's so so your skin, so it's oh, useful. useful. This is my, I've this gained the skill that seems. And up here is your weak. I mean, what does my mouth look like? So uh, uh, think, uh, I'm not even sure if I could actually be Stab someone if it came to it, but uh, yeah. I guess it's a bit to be useful to know just in case. Not really much I can do. Yeah. yeah that, okay. So, no, that makes sense. Like you think it, a physics extent. Yeah. Yeah. So. I guess Are you not nervous about this? You, want to block you don't seem the fighting type. Well, I am not. Um, I'm not on the mission. No, I, mean. I see. I, I just figured it could be a good opportunity to have a bit of self defense, I guess. I suppose it is. Better of time than any that I. I suppose. Apologies, I. There is much on my mind. Yeah, I'm no worries. I'm... Uh, and it means it a agree, and then we bind it through physical back. contact, spoken Even word, blood, you powering through written okay. words, Ready? whatever. As for what I wanted to speak to you about, been doing is been bringing up. I need a vial of some kind, or a bottle, size of a small potion with a chain or string wrapped around the edges so that I can be worn as a necklace. Yeah, I can do that. Do you just want an empty vial? Nothing in it? Just an empty one. Perhaps a cork to keep the uh, liquids inside. You have a, you're doing like a 70... Yeah, sure, I, I could do that pretty easily. Hmm. 
like lean forward how kind of much will it cost and then once you get like comfortable probably not much probably like i don't know a couple of couple maybe like four or something i only have silver coins left will one of those suffice uh yeah sure i guess i guess so when it is finished i will pay you then thank you no worries try to stay you know 50 50 on your legs you know obviously one in front of the other Forward shoulder a little more towards me. And, uh... I should be honest with all of you. Come on. Let's get ahead, Tim. A moment, Bing. Yeah, right. always make sure... You're May I speak with Sildon? Between, you know, uh, you and your opponent. Um, yeah, yeah. Cool. Wait, do you want to speak to me? Magic? I do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But okay. She, she I will... Go for it, I will be right back. Okay. So, Phoenix, so, darling. Phoenix, so, please, keep an eye on him. Let's a little bit wobble on his legs. To make sure he doesn't fall yeah. over. Of course. So, wait, Sildon. Are, uh, is yes. he like on the level of not getting burned by the fire? No. Just checking. Right. Uh, do you Terribly mind? sorry, by the way. It's not, I, it's not something I can really control. Do you mind if I be there for the conversation, or is it secretive? It's... personal. I mean, if it was my choice, I would not be like that with the mistress either, but you don't have to tell right. well, Then do me a favor, Sheldon, and lean yourself up against the wall, make sure you don't fall over. Yes, fall over, fall over I will lean myself. Let's go to this wall. And Phoenix, the door. no matter if it might look like him falling over, don't grab for him. Um, we are uh, uh, else planned for I will. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Phoenix, so, darling. Why are the conversation between you and Bing? How bad is it? Well, I'm falling apart, and I'm uh, the mistress is now in my head. Like she spoke to me before I blacked out this time. I don't know if that means she's coming closer, or if she's getting a better control over me, or maybe I'm just dying, and that's how it is, but I don't know. Um, I've been burning runes into places while blacked out, so I don't know what's going on. I'm actually terrified, and I'm trying to look at the silver linings, but I'm finding none. So I'm just smiling. So then... Do you remember what we talked about in my homestead a few days yes. ago? Yes. Yes. And that's still on the table. You will have to make a decision soon. Yes, I know. Does anyone else if you know? see me, oh, a few people at this point. Oh, you mean our deal, or like just the the this our deal. in general? No. Do you want me to tell people? It is up to you. I figured you'd want to keep it secret, as to make sure no one else would get in the way in case it needs to happen. That's okay. No, that's smart. Okay. If I go blackout again and start futzing around town or try and leave, just throw a bucket of water at me. I think it would be best if you prepared a note, something in writing, so that others may read it. Why well, I can't write. I can get a clay tablet. It's fine. I can do that. Uh, yes, I should prepare something just in case. I will put it with my things. They should know where that is. The town may kill me in the process once they learn of what I have done. 
I will make sure that they don't. We shall see. Don't worry. It's fine. This is fine. Everything is golden. Silver linings. You're good, did you not notice that I was standing here? I use some magic and some skeleton hands. Um, is that going to be a problem? <laughs> no. In the form of necromancy, are we talking here? Right. Like the school? Is that what it's called? Skeletal hands. We're gonna go outside the town. We're gonna do what we wanna do. We're gonna figure everything out from there. Maybe you'll help, maybe not. But it's gonna fucking happen, alright? Okay. Connected to... Can you walk or you need me to carry you? I can walk. I'm up now. I'm up. If you start saying you're falling over, do tell me. Mel, will do. I know you're gonna focus on this one. Do what you need to. I've told you what I'm gonna do. I'm doing that now. Okay. I'm also, Melody, I'm really sorry I couldn't sure do this. I will. I will. I'm not letting you out of this one. You're gonna be in this one. Focus on everybody here. Phoenix! Take your key, my apprentice. If she's in pieces and if I'm back, I'll be pissed. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this for a moment. Go ahead. We're going over some things. Once you're finished. We're gonna go over some things about elk. Alright, thank you. Not bad, not bad. I do appreciate it. I'm also just spectating. <laughs> oh, okay. I just want to make people sure. to know, though. I just want to make mm -hmm. sure that everybody on the mission is okay with something like this, because, uh, I mean, I don't, I didn't know it was necromancy. Again, it's the same that my mother. had. It could be. I, I don't want to confirm it is necromancy, but it could be. It could be a form of it. We'll have to see, though. Okay. Problem is, with Galvis, is he... Well, mainly manipulator. <laughs> it is most likely he will be with other people. People who... How do I explain that? Against their will. Okay. Oh, you were saying people who how to explain it. Oh. Ah. Well, people who are under him, I should say. I'll be back. <laughs> that, so what I've drawn, I'll post a photo in the Discord later. That is what he has. A symbol that glows directly on his forehead. At least that's what I saw before I lost weeks of my memory. He will... I don't know how his commands work exactly, but if you are in his dome of... I don't know. I don't know what it is. Control. You are unable to move. You are unable to move. You will not be able to talk, look around. You are under him, basically, until he either knocks that barrier down or you are completely under his mind control. Okay? I don't know what other people there are, but there may be people with the same symbol. 
So if you want, you can come closer and have a look. I've seen it. There are people who have a symbol that may be a bit less. I will actually ask that you refer to Bing on that. Bing has one on his back. I was just saying, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. He has one on his back. His is not like mine. His is smaller, less, um, seems normal in a way, out of everything. It's weird. Mine's a bit different. Mine is similar to his, but he doesn't have triangles on his. His is just without the triangles. I don't know what these marks mean. They can range, probably, from multiple things. My concern is, is that this guy is a mind mage. He will... He, we could not... We might not be, even be able to get close to him before he starts messing with us. Is there a limit to how many he can control at one time? From what I gathered, at least, he managed to control four people. No, he had eight people together in outside the guild a couple of weeks back. Possibly nine, if we include whoever. Possibly nine. Out. So we should assume limitless? Mm. I would assume limitless could be very bad if we all get influenced. He could manipulate our sight, so we might be seeing things that we should not be seeing. That includes figures, memories, smells even, maybe. I know the figure thing is, sounds a bit weird, but that has happened to me in the past. Figures have been appearing in my vision, breaking down my mentality and all that. So, what I actually am planning to do Now, tell me if this sounds dumb, but I'm going to get us all a small handkerchief to wrap around our wrists. That way we know better who is... Sorry. Hmm? Oh, I said better safe than sorry. Yeah. That way we know who is who, at least. That handkerchief can be... I'm going to look and see if I can get enchanted, the handkerchiefs. So that if something does happen, and he does try and start using the handkerchiefs against us, they're enchanted, so we at least have- he can't mani- he can't, you know, replicate those. I can even take it a step further. I can make them for you out of silk. Just pull it a little piece. I don't- he has access to what I'm made out of. Just a strand of fine silk. Oh wow. I feel like me holding it is going to break it, so... There you go. <laughs> it's surprisingly strong. Okay, we'll use that. But we'll also try and get enchanted by either some of the blacksmiths, or we could get the new person who was in town. Well, Gail could even do it. <laughs> suggestion? Wait, you could enchant? Wait, what? No, no. Wait. I do have a suggestion, though. <laughs> oh, yes. Listen, I can't do anything but stab people. Um, another thing that could be really good that can't be faked as easily is call out and callbacks. Mm. Uh, this is often used by military at night, so you don't get an arrow in the face if somebody hears you, like you're going through a bush. Hmm? So get over here, so we can right. talk to the team. That was just outside. Okay. Hello, Melody. You wanted Hello, me. Hello, Justin. Yes. Actually, do you mind talking? Oh, you to feel wanted. Where is the liar? She had her name on the board, did she not? Yes, I think they didn't know that the meeting was being held here, so I guess I'll. Uh, well, I can't. Uh, it'll, take you two, it'll take 30 seconds for my time. Okay. Go into the basement. Okay. It's right over there. I don't want to go in there. There's too many insects down there. We saw there. Justin in the basement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So uh, another thing you can do to really help uh, 
especially if some illusion mind fuckery starts happening, is have um, uh, clout and callbacks pre-prepared. Obviously, you don't want just one, because during a long engagement, that can be figured out. I'd say three uh, is, is probably enough that it'll be difficult for an opposing uh, force to really figure that out, especially in long-term combat. Um, and if all of you memorize all these three, it'd be really simple. So, for example, uh, a very classic one was Thunder, Apple. Because they have nothing to do with each other. Which is, which makes it, like, harder to crack. So, if I'm attacking somebody and I don't know who they are, or if I hear somebody moving through the bushes, and I ready my bow, and I go, and I say, Thunder! And I hear, Apple! I know not to wildly shoot into that bush. Kind of thing. And then if I want to double check, I can say, I'm caught! And then hear, Fireplace! Kind of thing. And this could be something very simple. Uh, again, you only need to memorize two or three pairs tops to be like relatively safe without trying to memorize a whole like 16 or, or 30 of them. Um, so when it comes to that, that uh, I would suggest picking three pairs that mean something uh, to you. Even if you have to create meaning out of it, something that's easy for you all to remember while being like just kind of nonsense to anybody who doesn't know about it. Make sense? Sounds good to oh, me. Sorry. Tough crowd. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it is a bit of a tough crowd, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk. I'm sorry, gonna walk. you got a whole group of introverts. <laughs> I don't know what to tell I'm you. Sorry. Okay. So. I don't know what sort of tricks he's hiding. I don't know what he can do exactly other than the, the dome. Stay, I would suggest, if it is, if you have to, if we get into contact with him, there is a chance that he could just use the dome immediately. Oh. So it is. Yeah. The last. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello. Explain yourself to them. I put my name down on the sheet as Aubrey. I used to look different. Using an enchantment to hide myself. Oh. Oh. Whether you'll have me on the mission or not, it's up to you. You're more than welcome to. Come on, join us. We don't discriminate here. Yeah. Actually, may I, may We're just talking over plans here. Hmm? May I pull them aside for a second? Sure, go ahead. Okay, oh, so our best bet, though, in regards to dealing with him is probably ranged. If we don't have ranged, we'll most likely have to go head on. But I know that Nishka has been teaching some of us the enchantments to ward off, well, a resistance to magics like his. If you've been there for those lessons, We'll be using that a lot. So it's magic that invades the mind? Mind magic, yeah. He's a mind mage. We are going... well... It said it was a call to arms. And that's what we're doing. I have a location 
of where we're going, at least. We'll be going to a warehouse in Sooner. If you have any... If you have any sort of bounties on you, or you can't be there for some reason, let me know now. Did you tell them about L yet, by the way? I was waiting to bring that up. Oh, I see. Please ring bell, because I know mm -hmm. he, that was a situation oh, that happened me. a couple nights ago. Oh, you're good. So please do uh, talk about enough. it. We are going to need to know about it. One of the big reasons. One of the big reasons that I want to go is because Earl might be there. And if I go, I will immediately recognize the port that he was at. Because I've seen it through the, uh, the item that he received from the door. There's another thing, by the way. One of the guards, the one who got his thumb taken off, he knows where that door is. Okay. That we might need to investigate. Yes. The <laughs> fuck have all been missing that people's thumbs are getting taken off? Apparently, oh, that just happened today. Oh, even I didn't know about this door. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. Wonderful. Fan yeah, fucking. I think, I think okay, fucking leave, so I can't believe this shit. Melody, do you have one okay. second? Can we fix the thumb? Um, we'll be finishing up oh, soon. Good. Amaris, what do you. Yeah, uh, it, it's okay. You're good. Uh, okay. Just a quick okay. thing here. Here. I hold out a clay tablet. Uh, do you think you can put your name in there really quick? There you go. That's all I want at last. If you feel anything funky, don't mind me. Brass monkey. Okay. Yes, I'm going there to try and find Earl, and I'm happy to help with the rest of the mission. Since I believe I'm okay. relatively capable for it. Okay. One thing well, I'm at least warning you now, there could be a chance that Elk might not even be alive, but I have reasons to doubt that. His body decomposed way too quickly when he was here. Yes, Amaris, you've had your hand up. Sorry. Mm. Something else, I'm sure Melody and them have already reiterated, you guys are going to be a long way from home. In a country that is currently under what I am understanding to be the equivalency of a martial law. Your guys' entrance and exit strategies have to be sound, and you need to have a backup just in case. And something else, I'm sure Melody would have referenced as well. If someone is turned, and for some reason they can't be brought back to their clarity, chopping the head off of the snake seemed to work. So if you eliminate the threat, it should bring them back. But just please be extra careful. These aren't cultists, these aren't Bandits is in a weird abstract circus. This is in another sovereign nation dealing with people who have connections to very, very, very high up people. And not just that, but there will be innocent people. If we go on this mission, there is a chance that there is that people who are not even a part of this could get involved and could even die because of actions. So I don't want anyone to be hasty about what they do. We need to keep it low profile at all times. If it does yeah, we are a ragtag uh, bunch of people running in all different shapes and sizes, but you know. I have a small suggestion. Something wet hits your head. I have a small suggestion. Okay. Um, if we're going to try and it's avoid kind of gooey. as much as possible, looks a little bit like snuck. Um, one thing I would recommend is perhaps a net. If anybody has that on hand. You're right. Someone's not about to be. Amaris. Oh. Oh, you fucking bitch. What? Huh? What happened? What exactly is happening? I think someone okay. dropped well, something on them. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh. When did you get here, Otto? You got here a while, like a few minutes back. Anyway, what oh, were you I saying? You... Oh, a net. Um, if we're mm. trying to avoid killing anybody, a net or just throwing it out might be a quick way to hold somebody down and just keep them incapacitated. I don't want them to see you. This is sooner we are talking about. Bad. I'm sure there'll be plenty of nets in the place we are going. There's also a um there's also a thing, I forget what it's called. It's like 
a rope with two heavy balls usually has like something heavy inside of it. Yeah, to, I just call them clackers at that point because they the um, ball ball. hit them together and they like kind of click together. I knew somebody who in. used to use you're, one. You're part of the team, so get in here. All I know about them is that you throw them at somebody's feet and it trips them. The device you are speaking of is known as a bola. It is commonly used for hunting larger animals. Um, okay. That could work. Okay. We could get some of them, but again, we'd probably not be able to gar carry those ones in specifically into sooner. Probably not a really good idea, especially with the fact that they are searching through everybody's cargo. Hmm. So, if you do get injured at any point, I need you to tell us. You need to tell us, because we are not going out there to get ourselves killed. We are there to work together, and we are there to keep each other up, alright? Mm. If I remember correctly, I think I'm the only healer who's coming. That is false. What? Where's Amaris? Where'd she go? She ran um, out up there to go find out who, yeah, I think, to go kill you. Oh, she's here now. She it would yeah. me. Kill me. Why would, why would she just kill on my me? fucking head. Come here. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Alright. I'm the future man, my god. Yeah, that was great. Just that. <laughs> Here's a new person. Okay. Hi, I'm Ryan. <laughs> you know, one of these guys down here. Uh, you gonna introduce yourself? My name is Oren. You previously knew me as Aubrey. That wasn't me. That was mostly my. Oh, uh, spirit stuff. No, it was an enchantment. It's none of our business yeah. anyway. Yeah. All right. As long as All it's right. uh, not a thing where you're gonna go killing a bunch of people or something. We're good. I believe. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry that I can't be concerned about other people doing that. It's kind of a common theme Sorry. around here. Actually, stay here with us. What? Okay. You might be coming on the mission with us. Yay! Because Sildon might not be in any shape to actually come with us, so it's best to have Gobby here at least to hear it this out. Alright, so... I won't keep us for long, because... I don't know if any of you have any healing capabilities. I do. Punching them does not count. I am capable of healing, but a very small amount. It's... Not significant to bringing someone back from the brink of death, but I can close small wounds and lift pain to ensure that they can keep fighting in comfort. I know how to fix up common ship injuries, but nothing crazy. I could, you know, wrap a wound, hold down someone's, you know, stop them bleeding, but... Okay, then, so basically I'm going to be main healer. Alright, okay. So... If you are injured, you need to come to me. I guess. Alright? Who's that guy down there? Which one? And don't hide it, yeah, because yeah. some people do hide it. Uh, I don't know. Look at you. <clears throat> Look at you. There's... Hiding your injuries. I don't hide my injuries. There's also the chance that Flora might get subbed into the mission, so we might have two healers. Well, again, it depends if it depends if you guys are still wanting to go, right? But that's it, really. Basics are: if you see people with that symbol, I will draw photo. I will draw like pictures of the symbols. So if you see anyone with those symbols, they are not to be trusted immediately. They are most likely being watched, and most likely are working with Galvis or his whatever his cronies or whatever. Okay? Do not get close to him. If you do see him, don't just run up to him. Because what the fuck are you doing? First off, you're just setting... You put yourself in a trap. I guess just... 
inform us and we can go about it strategically. Good. I don't want to keep you here for the rest of the day because I don't want to, you know, I don't keep you here for the rest of the day because, you know, your day's you and we have to leave very early. Uh. I need to uh, this at some point, but I do want oh, to find that doll. Uh, for the uh, people going who haven't done missions before, um, there should be like a stock of potions that you can bring with you a certain amount in the guild hall. So, mm -hmm. list actually make a list for me of what you want to bring. If we have the potions, I'll bring them. Okay. I'll put them down on the list. I was going to ask make about sure that actually, because if you have any, if you need any, I could also make some as well. That would be greatly appreciated mm. if you could. In general, I think we usually can do like two potions each for people from the guild supply, two right? Each. Um, yeah. Well, I can, I normally take more though, mainly because I'm healing, so. Well, oh, two is really yeah. the kind of max. Alright. And then if you have extra potions that you buy or make yourself, we'll be leaving then, early. Yeah. No fun. So get rest, no train as much as you can for the time being, and get ready. Because it's going to be a long Go uh, see the blacksmith while you can if you need to get at least a basic weapon made. Oh, another thing. If, um... I don't know if we're going to need a front while going into Suno or a reason, but I was also thinking of using this mission as a way to grab some more supplies for Leafside. You're, you're gonna feel bad. Or we could use Do it as a. We won't be. We'll, Justin. We'll be spending Would I be allowed my most of the day looking train? into this warehouse. We'll also be doing. We'll also be trying to find Earl. And if you can on the sidelines, if you do have, if you have the time. Make some connections. Thanks. Right. Get time. going. All of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. Actually, uh, one more thing oh, for like everyone. Panel. Just uh, probably good to know. Another oh. one hits you on the shoulder. Uh, okay. Another one pops in your team. You uh, mm. gonna go check that out? I can see you. Who is it? Oh, there's a dust it's bunny. a dust bunny. Being a drone. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna kill it. Mm, anyway. Uh, uh, man, my Probably auto. Come on. Uh, okay. Uh, Justin, you mind uh, stepping away for this one real Dun. quick? What? Oh. What for? Uh, need to some talk to them stuff. about something. Why? Haven't you learned your lesson about this? It literally right does now. not. Really it literally to. does not affect you, Justin, unless you are going on this. Okay, well, well I'm taking my. Know. Well, yeah, you know, so what? I'm not going, but is this like exclusive information for the people that are going? I could ask Phoenix later. He probably would tell me, or any yeah, of them. Either, so. uh, fine, it's fine, just, whatever. Might as well just say it. Shut. I have a really high fucking bounty in Suna, so. Uh, okay. If I get pulled away for any reason, just go without me and I'll figure it out. Okay. I'll keep yeah, that in mind. Go away. What? Okay. <laughs> we'll have to keep that in mind as well. Other than that, you're free. Be gone with you all. Train, have a good oh, sleep. Oh, we'll oh. leave in early in the morning. I'll start making those cloths. Those handkerchiefs. Don't be spreading yourself out too thin. Shouldn't be too hard. It's just a cloth. Um. That being For said, context, I want to go find that dog. <coughs> Apparently, still be around. Go on. Technically, on. not Come on. my bounty. At least the majority of it. It's my father's. Since I took up his title. The leadership. Hmm. Fair enough, Dalia. I suppose we'll deal with it when it comes. Don't fucking smile at me like that. Alright, <laughs> 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 
so sad. How are you going, Gail? Listen, it'll be it'll be fine. I'm doing all right. No, 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 no. I asked if you were going. Oh, I'm going now. Ah, you're just here to provide your expertise was, now. Yeah, I was showing several of them how to use a blade properly, and most of them are civilians. Right. <sighs> uh, whose idea was to allow this anyway? I, I guess it wasn't anyone's idea, but it's not like anyone's gonna stop them, I suppose. I'm surprised that you're going, Melody, I must say. Why wouldn't I go? No, it's just... I guess... I guess it makes sense. You know, actually, never mind. I think I'm surprised that Ginny is not going. Jenny's yeah, that's back, the one. Uh, back up. Right. Well, you know, it's just a lot of people, you know, don't seem to have meat in the game. But you and Ginny do. I think a lot of people do. I mean, I think that's very relative. it was a call to arms. Not a call just I to suppose. guilt. Right. Well, fair enough. Phoenix, you good? I... Phoenix. Don't know. I don't know. Grieving. The only way I know how. Okay. Leave it to them. Hmm. Um, I was going to ask... I found that guard who was talking about the door, the one that Earl found the uh, little glass cube through. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if it could potentially be connected, but I'm not sure. I figured I'd ask him and look around a bit. I, I don't think it is. I think it may just be spewing random shit out. But it did happen. Earl, Earl himself told me that's where he found that little glass box. We don't know what else it could. Where is that? Is it a? Was it next to my house? Apparently. Where um, is he's it? found two doors apparently. Oh, why are the doors randomly? Why the fuck are the doors appearing? I don't know. All I know is that Which Earl went through it? it and he found a little. Um. The one with the purple uh, tabard. The one who. <laughs> Broke his thumb or got it taken off. Oh, taken off. Yeah. I'll go try That's thumb. another thing. Why is Talia cutting off the thumbs of my guards? I don't know. You can find a teller and a rat. They were, they were trying to kill a tiny coin mimic. And then when they went to kill it, it kind of hopped and then. Okay. That's the story I heard. Sure. Also, if you see any coins lying around, uh, I would suggest against putting them in your coin purse. So, okay, eat the rest of your coins. Okay. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah. A uh, girl. Give. Yeah. If you're not going, then. Quick question, uh, because I've seen you work in the um, forge area. Are you technically employed there? My skills are that of an amateur, but Some... yes. Because I'm just really looking to get like a a, a basic cutlass made ready. Because um, yeah, I don't really have any weapons. Um, I will. See to it then. I will uh, attempt to have something made. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't have to be like the most fantastic thing. It's just something just to keep, help keep me alive if shit goes bad. But, um, uh, if you let me know how much it is and I can sort out the money and all that. And then. Um. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go investigate some other things around the town. Stay safe. There's some things on the road. I'll try to, but I keep running into trouble. That's fine.
Greetings. So, so you're not part of this, the, 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 the rebellion, then if you're here, I'm assuming. You can I mean, I don't know why you would tell me. Okay. I would like to know who this they is. Uh, no. Hmm. Yeah, me too. Um, sorry, I just, I really needed to ask about those things, I guess. It was driving me nuts, not asking. Oh. Okay. No, um. Excuse me. Hello? Sing Bing or Sodom? Ah, uh, Sodom earlier. Not too sure where they are now. Unfortunately. I don't know. There are crowds of folk around. You might find one of them there. Like over yon or near the guild hall or last I saw all them there was in the training grounds. I just came from there. I will find them. Thank you anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you do? Have any questions for me? I that I can answer. Well, apparently you can't answer them. That's some of them I wish I had the answers for. I guess the simplest one, if you can answer it, why are you asking? Uh, just something in my head was really curious. I uh, really wanted to know about. I saw a drow and they were very interested.
Hi. Are you looking for Bing? I am, yes. Ah, it's okay. Melody found him. He was talking with Zeldon. Where are the others? I'm so I can tell him. Okay, I'll keep looking. From going from a raisin sauna to a matchstick. Okay. Immediately. That is the that is the thing. I, I put that in there for the sake of safety. The third is that specifically that if anything should happen, he's going to work together and basically protect me, you, or Miss Mew, or following generations anyway like that down the line. Essentially okay. working as a guardian spirit. That is that clause. Still does not explain the fact that he literally stood there for a moment, then poofed in the fire, and now he's gone. Mm -hmm. oh, did, did it not work? It's like I saw, like, he, he, he looked like he was in pain quickly. Then he started vanishing and going into a little fireball, and then poofed out. Hey, he's better not be where I'm fucking. Hey, he's better not be Phoenix, fucking gone. Can nah. I help you with anything? Nah, I can't be fucking thing, Nick. I needed to speak with Bing, but perhaps I should come back another time. Oh, it, it, it's fine. Come I'll, here. Come here. I'm just okay. I'll, All right. Bing, Bing, Bing. Go talk right, to him. What? I'll, I'll look into this a little bit more. <sighs> see if there was any discrepancies. Or see if we can actually figure something. Just go. Yeah. Go right. Uh, yeah. For, yeah. Phoenix. What, what's the matter, lad? Is it about your sword? Uh, yes, but there is more to it as well. Go on. Arvis, the Deathlios, the blue and white one, has been requesting a cutlass to bring with him. Oh yeah, look, you want for my, for my back or you want me to smith him one? Perhaps we could work together. It seems you need to take your Fuck mind yeah, off of things. Course, of course we can, lad. I mean, it's more like, I... Uh, it's not about not getting your mind off of things, it's more like, fuck, alright. Ah, uh, shite, alright. Just... <sighs> yeah, right. For a little bit? Look, I... Right. Right. I'll do it, I'll go. I'll go. Phoenix, can you Just make you sure... Know? Make sure these things are still clay tablets. Do not fucking break them. If you break them, the contract's fucked. Okay, that's fine. Just stay with him. <sighs> fucking shit. Right, right. I did not mean to <sighs> eavesdrop on the conversation, but... No, I... no, you, you're fine, lad. Again, you wanted to have something. It's just, I... Look. I signed a contract with Sildon, you know, spirit contracts, Finnick A's fucking bullshit. We signed a contract, everything seemed to be going great, until he just, just as you heard yourself probably, went up in a fireball and just fucking vanished, and now he's gone. I'm not sure if he's dead, I'm not sure if he's fucked off back to his plane, I'm just worried and confused. I did everything right. I had the contract signed properly. I had everything tacked. I did what he required to, and he's fucking gone. I, where the fuck? What do you mean? Sit. Sit on, is it fucking you? It's me, Bing. Ah, oh, fucking hell. You had me worried for a moment. I thought you just fucking <laughs> up and vanished or died. My corporeal essence had to reform. I just got dispersed over the local area. Right, okay. So you were fine, injured, anything? What's, what's the matter with you? I feel fantastic. I... All right. Sweet. Can you still hear her voice? Okay. 
Can you still hear the beckoning? For now, no. We'll see if that sticks. Spirit contracts I seldom may work properly the way that they intend to. Right, Sildon. I'm happy you're good and feeling better. Uh, I might have worried my I might have worried Melody because she appeared right as you vanished. I'm gonna go back up and check on her if she's still up there. Just give me one moment. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna wait, Melody. Yes. I'm coming with you, of course. I hope you slept, by the way. Did you sleep? I did, yes. Okay, you have your energy back? Most of it. Mm. All right, good, good. If you ever need any more of the tea, please don't be afraid to ask. Thank you. I may need some more tonight. I do not wish to have the nightmares. Mm. Of course. I'll help what I can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You have the little house up there, right? Indeed, yes. The one with the torches on the outside. This. I will pop in tonight and I'll brew the tea for you myself. And then you can rest. I shall be expecting you then. Mm -hmm. Alright, I gotta go figure out what's going on with the fire stuff thingies. Farewell. Take it easy.
No, they just disqualified me. That's... that's lame. Yeah. Perhaps it is because, because you only have one arm. Forge, right? No, oh, this was, like, years ago, when I was on the ship. You also carry a hefty bounty on Suna. If Suna guards see you, it puts the mission at risk. Therefore, the rest of us as well. For associating with you. We are... literally not talking about that at all. No. But am I wrong? Do you realize how many people go on missions around here that put everyone at risk? Perhaps I do not. Hell, Melody's a risk. She could just get triggered and transform herself and then she loses control. And you yourself are a werewolf, are you not? Now I am a large man, capable of destruction on my own, without any transformation. My point is, uh, Phoenix, that putting all of the blame on me for those things really doesn't apply with the amount of issues that people have around here. I mean, we're going with someone else who has a transformation and losing control problem. At and I do not right agree now, with it. I'm under a contract that's preventing it. We've got Mani, who is literally an old woman. We've got a bunch of people who just learned the basics of fighting. We've got Aubrey, who apparently has a whole, like, other side to them. And we've got Sildan, who's a literal fire spirit. So it would seem. If you want to go on a mission where nobody is putting the mission in jeopardy, then send literally no one on the mission, because everyone here has their downsides. If you're looking for the oil, I believe it's in the crate. A small one, next to the large ones. Are you actually going to? Uh, oh yeah, apologies. I haven't done this since I was a kid. Yeah. Sorry, do you mind if I actually told you for a moment? Guess I'll save this for after this talk then. Uh, It'll take sure. two minutes. It's just more of a little ask. How are things going with Smithen? So far, everything has been fine. I've started the new blade. Aye, that's good. How far have you gone in the process? Just got it out of the fire? I've melded the two ingots together. I'm now currently hammering them down to prepare them. Oh, that's good. Make sure that while you're already in that shape, make sure if they want to cut loose, make sure now is the good time for them to properly have that curve. Might as well make sure they have one side be also a little bit more thinner for the sake of, uh, for the sake of sharpening later on. Makes them extra. Makes it sort of get the extra grit on the sword. I will make the preparations. Just my advice, lad, and of course, even though I might give you these advice, my greatest advice that I can give you when it comes to sniffing, you have the materials. Experiment. Try to figure out your own ways. For me, it took me that while and reading on a lot of different craftsmen about the different guides, different 
ways someone can create a weapon for me to get properly educated on the matter of how to make a sword. You can by all means find out a way that I've never discovered before. That is the one thing about us craftsmen. Innovate if you have to stop if you, as soon as you stop and stop being inventive, that's gonna be the point where you're gonna die as a craftsman. Always try to figure out new ways. I will attempt to not disappoint you. Don't ever disappoint me. Gotta make sure to make yourself proud for your work. You're not working for me, you're working for us, you're working for yourself. You're your own craftsman now. Perhaps. I mean, can I get, uh, can I buy some oil from you? Just cool. regular, regular oil, oil blade oils, anything yep. specific? My uh, biceps for metal. are huge. Absolutely. Let's say, uh, specific oil in that sense, uh, probably... Hey, give me silver, we're good. <laughs> I don't have it. Oh, that's, that's fair. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you very much. And there's the silver. Oh, good. Oh, good light. Oh, damn it, Sal. Alright. Sal don't speak now. Might, uh, might take an early day today. And you can uh, touch it. In case you don't see me around. Do you need anything from me? I don't want me? to. Uh, you not feel really, better? Not really, Maxine. Not really some... Oh, by the way, oh, you I know feel for the other better than better. Well, for I mean, look with... at me. This is Sildon's new form now. Just so they're not surprised <laughs> about having this big guy run around. You look great. I, you I, look I, much I better. Figured. I think they Don't will be able to find I feel much better. And look, still just wanted to make sure that my feet are on no the ground. Mistakes. Yeah. I'm not having to shuffle about. Oh, no, listen, you might I'm be a little bit more smarter it. than that, but I'm not sure how to feel about Blake and everybody else. You know, they might be fucking up, making mistakes. I just want to make sure it don't happen. Um, so in Blake's defense, what, what I think he's going crazy. The rest good? of them are stupid, though. Anyway, was it like shitting skin? No, I think I was actually dying. But me and Bing have made our own contract. <laughs> yep. Hey, skip this shit. That's yep. good. <laughs> Comes oh, with its own benefits and its own problems, so we may have no, to see I a lot of things, but understand. It's my own. Um would you be willing to buy like a cannon and use it for metal or something? Because I don't need a cannon. And it's on my ship. What? I mean, just like, just a random cannon. No, nothing, anything. It's just a cannon. I've got cannonballs too. If you want it. Do you? I'll do it. I mean, if you don't need them, sure, I'll take him. I can smelt stuff down. Probably, oh. I don't know, maybe I'll even find a salesman who might be able to be interested in it. Can car it off somewhere else. Sure. If you show me how big the cannon is, I'll carry it in here. Oh. Yeah, you could probably get more use out of it than I I've just realized something. Oh, oh nice. Ah. That being? I can sleep in a bed now. Oh, I can I sleep. What about food? What about food? Well, I can't not burn things now, but that doesn't stop water from hurting me. It still is my opposite. What about really dry So I'm bread? still stuck to dry foods. Yeah, really dry bread. Mm. I've had bread. Bread's nice. But now I'll be able to actually feel what it's like to swallow something and it not just not go anywhere. <laughs> I have <laughs> guts like now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you filthy individual. <laughs> I you, you were staring at me for way too long there. <laughs> it's just, it's just anyway. so bad, but you're, you're swallowing now. <laughs> I'm not. Shut up. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, it's pretty. That's fair. <laughs> ah, sex. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, it's all good. I mean, Eren can get a bit labyrinthian in this part. Let me. Two new people. Uh, yes, oh, careful with the stairs. Another rabbit person. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's it. Uh, it could be a metro company for now. I have a bottle of wine for you, by the way. It was one silver. As well. They could be from anywhere. Okay. Uh, keep her some company for now. I'll, uh, I'll well, see the other one. That'd be cool. Uh, I'll find Miss Ayla, get her some food, and. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Don't start, don't start throwing gang signs now, alright? I was running to a kind of joke like I said. Huh? <coughs> yeah. I like to take a run every day. Yeah. At last. Even for me, running that long, Down. this is a product called lateralization. Very sweet, but oh, it's not always my self improving. Give a word. Do you know what? Working on the metro. I. I came from Vargas yesterday, so. Not the most used to this town yet. Just, just been close to you in a way that I thought you weren't me. Hmm. I thought I could. Well, not that I was. I'm not new to some of this. I was at the psychiatric floor day yesterday, so. Okay. We all are going through our emotions. Keep her in the house. Why don't you keep her? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. You're fine, just pushing the cannon, you're good. Uh, Miss Ayla's phone is right now. Oh, oh, the stairs goes a little bit. Uh, right, push that in here for now. Oh, the cannon in the corner here. Put that here in the corner for now. Uh, hello? Hey, hello! Do you like related to Sildon? I, 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 I am oh, Sildon. Oh, you better have a surprise. Oh, oh, I'll cover it. Don't worry. Let's go. Oh, I see. Say hello to Sildon. the new and improved Sildon. What are you doing sitting at the table all by yourself? Well, you do look a lot uh, bigger, I, I guess. Uh, is that all good, by the way? I met you, you look, uh, hmm. there's, you know, Melting. Down on the ground, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you and Talia seem like you've bit. been close lately. Okay. Hmm. You. you do something with your hair. Do you like trim it? Maybe? I did. Oh, I like your beard. Oh, okay, that okay, okay, that's cool. That's good. Thank you. It's based oh, off of one of the dwarves nice to meet I met. You here. My name is Gavi. Pleasure to meet you. Have a nice warm handshake. I mean. Ah, oh, your head is hot. Yeah, I'm not going to burn you anymore, though. Good Thank you. I don't think you ever burned me. I don't know who you are. Uh, I'm so long. Oh, the back of the door. Uh, right now. Oh, I see it. Uh, Felix, use your uh, vial. It's got a string attached to it, so. Thank you. Thank you for well. That's a new trick I can do. <laughs> no worries. I'll do it. Piece of silver. Oh, thank it's you. yours. It is. Oh, we, we oh my god, oh, you're, see. you're B-sized. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? I need to go back oh, over man, the door. Oh, now. I guess people have gone out the door. Oh, it really is. I don't know why it's doing this. I'm mean, guessing because of the size. Me, Can you get big? Uh, I mean, I could. Some other people were working on I don't know how big I could go, but I feel like that would probably be a bad idea if I made myself really big in the middle of town. Yeah. You're right. We should go out of town and do it. <laughs> she was very True. against it because the possibility of her and Wolfric dying, which isn't a guarantee that'll yeah, happen, but it's a possibility. Yeah, she's really nice.
Hello. Who is she? Uh, her name's Leona. She's like a fortune teller, a soothsayer, that kind of stuff. So, what do you what do you think of the new me? We did it. Because I know you were saying that you didn't like the previous version of me. So Earl could be dead. Is this body a bit better? Is what she said about it. So. Don't you look at uh, I don't think there's any fixing you. Yeah. Uh. Oh, come on. He's I mean, look at this. I've got the beard of a dwarf. I've got the build of Bing. Would you prefer it if I made there's myself a, a woman instead? Spirit, huh? uh -huh. Like I said, I don't think there's any fixing you. I'm gonna go... Oh, you're only saying that. You're a darling deep down okay. inside, I know Bye. that. Okay. Chief, everybody. Up. Yeah, right. Hello, yeah, yeah, yeah. my dear. What do you think? <laughs> you're big. I, you're rich. <laughs> and now, I don't have to worry about burning things. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Wait, you don't? That's good. I don't need to worry about burning things anymore. I can now choose when I want to burn things. That's spectacular. Can we talk about this in the not in the room? Hello. Yes. Sorry to interrupt you, too. Sorry for interrupting. Not sorry for your terrible answer, though. We are quite literally. I'll get the truth out of you someday. Yeah. Where, where would work best? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, have you found out if you can eat things, like, kind of normally now, Dan? Well, water would still hurt me. That's still a sad fact of my being. But, I can now sit in your lovely cafe without burning anything. And I can take my time eating things without having to burn them. Well, that's nice. Also, I that's have really guts nice. now. You have guts now? Hmm. Yes, I gave and myself all of the organs. I now have actual working eyes as well. Color is strange. Oh. Do you like it? I'm getting used to it. You guys have a lot. You guys can see very far. I was used to being able to see, like, this much. Do I know? Oh. At any Oof. given time, uh, and you guys can see like oh, this much. What's the matter? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, we'll uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, you, you get used to it. It's not too jarring. I'm glad right. to see you're right. feeling better. Can we talk in your house, actually? Go, go for it. Private. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be able to sleep and oh, digest. Uh, it's a lovely there, experience. Happy for you. Oh, yeah, big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you big. And now I just realized I don't have a bed. I'm going to need to have a bed. Yeah, that would be pretty, oh, that's pretty yeah. important to have. Just make sure that you have a comfortable bed. <laughs> what do you want to make it out of? Maybe. I don't know. I've never had to think about a bed before. There's a pull out in the cafe, right? I mean... You yes, if you <laughs> need a temporary place to stay. That could be quite nice. That it's quite close to the... There. Quite close to the forge. Oh, yeah. And you don't yeah, have to worry that, about me fitting. Right next, to the, right next to the fireplace, it, it folds out. So I think it's big enough for you. Yeah? Oh, don't, you don't have to worry because yeah. I can just... I can just... <laughs> Make myself oh. smaller. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that works, yes. Yeah. <laughs> One second. Um, it's, uh, it's not really much. It's just like a, a normal man's thing. Just a, a little. Hello. Oh, no, no, no. I actually wave my hand around you without you and like. No, you're good, you're good. You should be like, look, look, look. See? I'm just warm. Yeah, that's. Yes, I can't look at that. I can actually have my hand near you without feeling like you're about to. You could even put your hand in my. You could put your hand in my hand in my beard if you wanted to. It's weird. But apparently, if you listen to it enough, according to Blake, 
Feel the fire flow around your fingers, nice and warm. He has been obviously affected by this somehow. Yes. I wish more fire was like that. Yes. what's happening around you, so <sighs> I have taken the egg from him and put it somewhere safe. This is good. Well, I know that he won't be able to get Very good. to it. This is to good. To deal with, uh, okay, I've always wanted to get to know you better, but the problem is I'm full of plants, yeah. so that would be Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore, my friend. Just a bit manic. Somebody okay. needs to be found and that, that somebody was in danger. Yes, now. That's everything. Welcome to the day. I'm hoping by the fact that the gods is in danger and not dead, that somebody is still hiding there. Yes, I need to find... I need to find Melody. Melody is speaking with Bing inside of his house. I'm I'm not the most helpful, but if you guys can think of any way my abilities can be acquired, I'm I'm happy to do so. Whether that be to charge mana to someone who is doing something like that to help keep things going longer, or whatever. So, are you a healer? Are Are you? Uh, I practice medicine, but I don't have mag magical healing. I'm sure any of it will be good. If people come back, they might be a bit injured. I'm sure. Unfortunately, it seems like Melody's been taking over the entirety of the bulk of healing. She might be exhausted yes, when she gets back. Yes, I'm happy to help, definitely. Um, if anything, once uh, Melody comes back, you said that you could give people mana. I can, yes. Just giving it to Melody then. Yes, I'll be happy to happy to do so. I have plenty plenty to spare, so that way she can continue carrying the bulk of healing if it's you know the exhaustion is there. Highly recommend it. Well, in the meantime, thank you. Is there anything that you could do here? Well, I am giving people um, a supply for my shop, but I'm letting them uh, take um, take the reins in my shop. Some people want to help me out. If there's anything that you need there, I'm sure I could make some things, probably make some medical bandages. Sure, yeah. Keep being updated on that and would be good. It's better to have an abundance before <laughs> we need it. But only if you have the time. I know you're already very tired and have things... A, a uh, lot of time to be spent somewhere else. And I have a lot to be... I have a lot of time to be spent everywhere. I'm sure I have. I need to go get a weapon down at the blacksmith. I need to go get some... I need to go get some silk bandages made. And regular bandages. Hey. Medical. Hello. Uh... Just uh, so you know, I'll be picking them up early in the morning before we leave, but I just gave a, little, a lot of money to make us as many potions as he can. Healing, mana, stims, uh, nerve-calming ones if people start panicking. Uh, I wish uh, if I could uh, be there to help. I do have the ability. <laughs> I'm basically a walking mana potion and <laughs> nerve calmer. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm. but, uh, it's fine. It's very dangerous. But here I'm town and make thing. sure that people here are safe, okay? I suggested that maybe when we come back, she could basically put all that juice into Melody so she won't be too exhausted after all the healing. Yeah, that would probably help a lot. Happy to do so. It's good to have that on standby. Otherwise, I don't think we're probably a bit over capacity, but I don't think it'd be an entirely bad idea to have her stay in town. Well, yes, if our main talking about in sooner. Oh yeah, that'd be nice, but I don't have a say in that. Well, if it comes down to it, I'm. Call on me and I will go. Huh. I'd like to be useful. I think, I think I can recommend you. I mean, if you stay in the if you stay in the marketplace, I'm sure you'll be fine. Yes. Fine. I 
need to get on the blacksmith. All right. Um, Phoenix. Are you the blacksmith here, or is it that Bing person? I am one of them. Um, is it too much to ask to commission you for a weapon? What do you need? Uh, a poleaxe. How big do you want the blade? Um, of medium length. Do you wish for a spear and a maul as well? Yes. I will see to it tonight then. How much do I owe you? I... We can talk about cost another time. Alright. Just tell me whenever you need it. Uh, hello, you're new here. Uh, just to let you know to advertise no, Amelia. for the... Oh, I recognize your voice now. Yes, yes. Um, that door over there that just opened up. Um, there's a lovely lady <sighs> named Lorraine there who is, uh, she does a service to help find things and does card readings as well as seances. Highly recommend. Mm. Okay. She just asked to, uh, basically, uh, advertise for her. Okay. <sighs> God, there are so many people in here. Guild. Hey, Phoenix. Amelia, just so you know. Greetings, yeah. Amelia. One Pleasure to night. see you again. Yeah. Is there something you need? Feeling... I gotta check on you. Feeling better? I have recovered from my exhaustion. My strength is still returning to me, but... I will be fine, yes. Uh, sit to here. I will be leaving soon. Mm. Oh. Yes. Again, don't pu push yourself too hard at the very least. I will make an attempt.
Have you seen Terra's Death? The Dark Elf? Not recently. No. Shit. Right. Okay, let's go congratulate Sildan on his wiener. Why are you just standing there looking at me? He's proud. Because I think you're fantastic. Proud of what? Why? I mean, I, I mean, I, depends on the context, I kind of am, sometimes. Depends. Hey, you look like a 
Bye. Congratulations. <laughs> I got my thumb cut, cut off. Oh, that's that's great. Again? But then it got reattached. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, I guess. It hurts still, but... Yeah. I mean, I would think so. Who beat, who beat you? Oh, no, it got cut off. I was picking up a fuzzy coin that was moving, and I wanted to shave it, or like a bunch of people wanted to shave it, or another lady did. So I tried to shave it myself, but my sword's too dull. So I, so I got them to do it, and it jumped. The coin jumped out of my hand, and then they got my thumb instead. <sighs> okay. Well, makes you better, mostly. So you should get your sword sharpened. Hmm. Dull blade is it's never a good here. thing. Hmm. I think it. I think it's getting better. Pardon me. You running for a reason, or you just going quickly? Okay. Oh, uh, just going quickly. Okay. You know, hop, step, and all that. I Are we two, doing good, Phoenix? I saw the two of you approaching. At, at oh no! Yeah, they're taking me to the infirmary. Mm. Oh. Think I'll walk outside. Play. If I can find the person. Mm. Man, mm. some people. You're something. Mm. Mm. I would normally say what, but then you'd say ah, bah, 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 and I wouldn't know what the fuck you're saying, so I'm just, I guess I'll just stare back.
Hey, Phoenix. Can I help you? In her hand, the zoo bag. What is this? It's tea. Violet asked me to give something to help you sleep. And show you how to make it. If I tell you how to make it. really easy. All you need is a pot, and water, bring the water to a boil, then you pour it into a cup, and you put one of those in there. You don't eat it or put it in the cup and flavor the water. What herbs do you use? Do you still have any available? It's natural. Um, I probably do. If I can gather some seeds, I would like to grow my own. So that I do not have to ask you to continue sure. making this for me. No, it's it's okay. I we don't mind it. But if you'd like, I can um probably drop a little box off outside your port. Like that would be appreciative. I'm up all right. Oh, it's been a day. For no, I'm still grieving. I don't know how to deal with this. The first ever person um, I ever called a friend is dead. Sorry. Wait, what happened? The Death Leos, the Pale One. Aubrey. After me and Aubrey split off from traveling together, Aubrey found them. They were dying. Aubrey sacrificed herself and gave her body and her soul to the Death Leos so that it may continue living. And in return, the Death Leos took on its memories. Her foot, her form, her face, her mannerisms. She copied her. He... And then he warned me to not trust anyone. He attempted to prepare me for betrayal, but... I... I don't know what to do. I... I... I can't. This is the first I've seen or heard someone I care about die. And I don't know what to do with myself. I'm very. You know, the guild used to have another guild master. His name was Zogba. He was one of the people who I kind of looked up to when I first came here. He was a colder man, but a reserve, but you always wore the distinct armor. Nobody had ever really been able to see him without his armor, especially I treated him one day. I was one of the few people who was actually able to see him with his armor on. Blessing. And as time went on, I've noticed him being more sluggish. He wasn't quick. as reactive. And Eventually, one day, I came into the guild hall, and his breathing was very laborious. 
And I asked him if he needed anything and really tried to hit that point home. But he claimed he didn't need anything. Bite me. Dying. Later that day, a group of people leave. I was left here with a couple of the others down and they all came back later. All their faces were sullen. He died. I didn't know him. As long as you probably have known Aubrey, but his was kind of just a match thrown on a pile of people who blinked. Gone. I've helped guide a lot. I'm sorry. The only thing I guess I was to any tried to offer any word comfort. This individual, they, they seem to care. And no one's saying that you can't grieve. And I know that it's not always easy to live with the fact of, well, I guess I can just cherish the memory. But if it's any consolation about this individual, Aubrey, maybe it was just out of the good of their heart, but they wanted them to live. Maybe honoring their memory would be trying to work with the person. I know it probably is. Especially when you look at them and all you can think of is a person. But they harbor memories, feeling similar to them. Maybe it can be a way of helping to keep their memory alive. Perhaps, but I don't know if I'm ready to face them yet. I understand. And there's something so serious, especially, I could never even begin to tell you what you should or shouldn't. You deserve your time to Nobody should deprive you. I'm very sorry, Phoenix. I thank you, Amaris, for your kind words and your wisdom. Thank you for being with I understand. But thank you for. I'll leave you be. No, you have a bit to think about. Go with the tea, okay. I will. Thank you. I will attempt to get some rest tonight, but I have work to do. It seems... Mani, uh, we're, we're done if you wanted to speak to him. Alright, um, I just wanted to say that I have your order. I brought your leather, and the pagamonson I can bring over here, I just need to fit it to you. As for the handkerchief that we spoke of earlier, perhaps we can use it as a cloth, a scarf of some kind. Perhaps. I'm still in the process of making some of them, but sure. Hmm. I can make that the finishing touch. Shall I put it on then? Uh, yes, yeah, start assembling it. Let me go get your gabins in first. Of course. Hey, uh, is it just me, or is, is it a bit foggier than it should be? I believe we are receiving the mist from the seaside. Temperatures are dropping. Okay. Okay, making sure. This one's wrapped in a, this one's wrapped in a package of paper and twine. Mm. 
Right. Let's start assembling this. Leather is still a little soft because it's new, but it will harden. It will probably conform to your body shape a little bit. Perhaps it is best that I put it on soon, so that it may take shape and form of my body. I mean, it will be pretty flexible, but it will be even more conformed to your body, which could be good for combat. The leather is tied together. Just get that bad boy on and I'll, I'll start basically stitching it together and making sure the length is correct. Alright. She's going to do a very simple little stitch job of just making sure that like pieces are fitted correctly. And if not, she'll add little, uh, a little bit more. And if it, um, if it is too big, she'll just kind of snip it off with some scissors. It'll be a little hard to get out of this afterwards, but it's probably a good thing. Um, uh, might need a little bit of help. I overcompensated a little bit on the arm pieces. Overcompensated here too. You see the leather gets snipped away. She pulls out a needle and thread and starts. It's a heavy needle too. She starts making big stitches. And she pulls so it's taut to your body. Makes a little tie and then snips it. It seems to take a bit of force to snip that thread. All right. So I just eyeballed it, but I got most of the sizes right. All right. Is it all right if I sit down for this one? Please do. Hello. Hello. Um, just so you know, Phoenix, me and my compatriot here will be dicking around over there. Do as you wish. Just don't cause harm to the town. Phenomenal. Come, 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 come. She's basically so, just stitching it more properly to it. If I can There's not really a lot that needs to be desk, done here. A little bit of that left allotted to me. However. We need to see, with these gauntlets right here, we have three of them, and potentially three attempts, if we do this correctly. Again, it's a very thick thread. It seems to be made out of some kind of twine or some kind of thick cotton. The materials you are using kind of for this. Your waist. A really nifty magical yeah. item. What is it? It's a, uh... Yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's cotton-based. Let me so just we are this putting away. our noggins together. It's very, very thick, thick woven together cotton. What are we making? So, it should make it so that you shouldn't have any rips, especially if you're in the middle of combat. Well, let's stop a blade. Think of it like a gab. Uh, from um, not the most maybe. It might not start, the whole like thing sure might not, but it might only just rip a little um, bit. However, this rather than like the whole thing coming apart. The assistance of my more experienced... The chain mill will have to do most of the work then. ...to modify the parameters. Hmm. The Gavinson as well will protect you from of this blunt blows. Indeed. And gain okay. the ability to manipulate the that power side good. of the rune of the enchant through Delicious. the amount of mana that we put through it. Over here. Um, I rolled twenty twice in a row, so this will work exactly <laughs> how you expect on the first try. So, awesome. so like, so like. Like, does it go well enough to, like, be like, hey, we could just put it on this gauntlet? Absolutely. 
and he just lifts it up and just <laughs> slot it in. Slot, just put it in. Is, is it really that simple? I'm fucking good. Well, Right. So I'd be able to tell, like, like if I could make variations of this room, like, easily. I yeah. said it looks like it's all on good. Use this as a template, of course. Um, also, now that it's all been put it together, well. like this, it, it might feels make comfortable it as well. It might, uh, might be a little hard to get at. You might need it's some help. But otherwise, it should be good to go. take it off real quick and hand it to her. Like, do you want first use? Do you want to help me? By tomorrow, the leather should be hardened and it's... Mm, I am proud of my work. So here's a good idea. By well, tomorrow, well, the leather should be hardened and more appropriate for combat. An iron bar. Thank you, Molly. Now, if it works How much properly, do I owe you for this? Properly, no problem. You hold your hand above it. Ah. It you make me a weapon, you... Of mana. You can have it. And that should... That should... Feels like a decent trade. I will get started okay. on it then. So... I've already created the shaft. Oh. Penix, I'm thinking about get, getting a search party for Melody. If 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 no one's seen her, oh. then so what's your gauntlet? Made that of? might be a problem. Just Would you be willing to help? Um, I can track her down with my son. Finer steel. Cool. Okay. Um, I, I don't want to leave just yet. Uh, first off, see if I can get a couple more people and. Uh, also, see see if by chance someone saw her. Hmm. Um, I'm probably just gonna check in the guilds, and then uh, if I if I get nothing, I'll I'll be back. This is oh, a really sure. extremely valuable item. Okay. Yes. E yes. <laughs> just gonna put it back on. We we just made essentially an artifact. You have on your hand an artifact grade enchantment gauntlet. Hey Phoenix, you wanna see something cool? <laughs> okay. What do you hey what? Have? See that iron bar? So he has. So this is is a magnet. This is amazing. I mean, yeah, it has uses. What the fuck? <laughs> Does it work? You made it. Why are you, are you surprised? Me this I was also expecting the uh, word. Usually, um, it explodes in so... my face. Usually. You you know how Otto has made you a made gauntlet. That, I can attract metals. And I just told you how much that's worth and essentially what it is that we just made. Yes. Yes. I might have ideas on making variations that can pull in different materials. Hmm. Do you um, have any iron on you? Ooh. I will say the search party isn't necessary. Melody's just at home. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nobody knocked on her door. You know, that's the second place I'd probably check after walking the entire town. Uh, no, why would I have iron? Also, the drawing still on his face that you fucking did. Erebos. Hmm. Are you aware Melody of the markings on your face? You. What markings? Look yeah, in the water. Yeah, look in the water. That will... Where, where, where's the water? What water? You have water? That's water. Oh, it's water. You. Um, search party unnecessary. She was at home. <laughs> okay. So where is she? Is she still here? Okay. Talking, she's talking to Bing. Okay, where would that be? <sighs> you know, that's like, that's like quencher. That's like quencher stuff. <laughs> okay, and... You just put like steel. Okay. You know what? It's not the yeah, best. Yeah, well, I put my it's face in it. Exfoliator. Check this out. <laughs> Amazing. You're having fun with that. Don't use too much. This is mana. absolutely phenomenal. This is potentially worth hundreds of gold. It, it is worth that much. 
Not potentially. It is. And making <laughs> versions that pull different materials would be even more valuable. Because if you could pull steel, you could disarm an opponent. If you could pull gold, of you could course. just go to a cave and extract gold from Mars without but that's mining. But it's still... How do I say? Contained to nothing but a gauntlet. A glove. Yes. Hence why I made the, so, the steel one. If we make a steel one, you could disarm opponents by simply putting your hand out. True. However, what if we do it too powerfully? What if we ga gather everybody else's? This On is a mixed gauntlet, bag you'll weapon. crush your hand. Exactly. Oh god. You could crush someone with this rune. Absolutely. All I have to do is you... activate it to its fullest potential and throw it at somebody and it would just kill him. That iron door is a problem? And just fucking pull oh. it away. Off. How did we make this? We made this? <laughs> Why are you questioning it? Oh, guard, can I have your assistance, please? Just go, you fucking psychopath. Oh, uh, yeah, what? Okay, so, I need you to I'm hold involved. still real quick. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Well, okay. <laughs> hold on. Otto. <laughs> be very careful with your next actions. Actually... Keep it minimum. We don't want, you know, him to be ripped to pieces because you pulled just the armor off. That is what? truth. Don't right, worry so about it. We'll, 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 don't worry about it. We'll be test. Hold on. Oh, we have a place for this. We have a place for this. Come, 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 come with me. Come with me. What? We have a what? Okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Not you, guard. Not you, guard. If we, if we, if you, if you stand within the vicinity, we might kill you. <laughs> just a warning. Uh, okay. Then they got. Just oh, a no. What you are you doing? Your, your choice at that point. Would you like to be a test subject like that? I'm gonna go back to doing what I was doing. Excuse me. Did you find the egg Pardon yet? Me carrying yeah, somebody. Hello, old bed. Really? Mm -hmm. To the bottom of the line. Talking Wi-Fi with X25.
For me, it's, I know that feeling, but it, for me, I'm a little more of a ruthless businessman on that front. I do not really like to take credit, especially for works like weaponry and all that stuff, because, let's face it, a weapon can be used multiple times, yeah, but the more it's used, the less effective.
Do you have a bucket that I can borrow for a moment? <sighs> we may have. Pouring the water back in. Thanks. Of course. Just wanted to say, uh, you were a, a souvelle, right? Is that what you said yesterday? Or just a slave elsewhere? I was a slave, yes. Well, I was born in one. Don't wear yourself well. out. Also, ooh, sorry. <laughs> I'm loving the outfit. Looks already for well made. The, already for the mission. This was Monty's work. My sword is over there. Oh, it's so cool. Ooh, pretty. Very nice. I look forward to seeing it um, in use on the mission. Thank you, Melody. No problem. Ooh. Yeah. I was freed when I was a child, so I don't remember it too much, but I've certainly seen some of the things that they can do. Glad you're out. My freedom was gained recently. I was a slave for more than 20 years, I believe. Yeah, it sounds like you got some of the worst, the worst ones. Vampires. A coven. 
Oh, that's even better. Indeed. But I'm free now. Still haunted by them, but free. Yeah, well. Again, it's a good thing that you're free. I have known you for very long, but uh, you seem quite dependable and capable, so. Certainly not something that they deserve. This place took me in. One that knew nothing about me. I was large, foreign, and yet they still accepted me. I will provide whatever I can to these people in this town to ensure that their safety is above all else. I will work, I will fight, I will do what is necessary. Understood. Again, though, don't don't make yourself pass out again from working too hard. Breaks are needed every now and then. As I said before, I will make an attempt, but there is still much to be done. And I'm gonna guess. Yes, I'm going to guess that's uh, all I can. All I can get out of you right now, or expect, at the very least. So, it's at least a step in the right direction. Indeed. You arrived recently, yes? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Where did you come from? <sighs> Moment out of character trying to fit that out. Uh, the, the name... <laughs> uh, Asmith. Like I said, I was, I was born in Silver Lake, but um, some anti-slavers managed to get me when I was a child. Didn't, uh, unfortunately, couldn't get my parents. They, they took me in. I trained with them, worked with them. Uh, until uh, I got a little reckless. Didn't do much we are among the lucky few. I know about that. Hand it over to them. Then go on. I try to make that number larger when I can. As will I. I will ensure that we keep our freedom. And free those that need it. Yes. Yes. I'm trying. How do you succeed? Yeah, well, if I don't see you, if I don't see you again, have a good night. Rest well. You as well. Farewell. Farewell.
is supposed this to be This motherfucker is doing an investigation in, in, you know, doing in, like, you know, shit with our We didn't ones. investigate. Doing we shit made with it. Ours. No, sorry. I made sorry, the system investigation, investigation without you, Aaron. <laughs> oh, you know, oh. you <laughs> it was paid with a crystal. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're hard to come by. We made something very powerful. You are very lucky. Because I did promise people of this town that if somebody made an artifact or tried to use an artifact in this town, I would burn them alive. Well... But this I was an accident. This was an accident. There isn't a soul. There isn't a soul in it. There was no no one was useful. We're still going to destroy it. Why? Because artifacts bring nothing but trouble. Can I at least turn it in for my homework? Turn it in for your homework. But do not give the specifics. I want you to bury that paperwork, as it were. Yes, sir. Thank you. And then we can figure a way to destroy it. Yeah. Okay. Otto. I don't know if you've been told history of that. We've Get back here. So you know that skull that's in the crystal, in the, at least in that cave? Yeah. Yes, my Beamish compatriot. I told him to destroy it. This is important to him. And me as well. Please do not go against our better judgment. I will go with you to ensure that the notes are buried. There are no notes. It was purely by accident. Are you telling me the truth? I don't know. Like it's... I am, actually. It was a complete result of chance. But I don't know if I could go through with destroying such a thing. That thing can change my life. It can be everything to me. Bah! Look at me, Otto. Just listen to him. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. It's not absolute power. We're describing it as an artifact. We don't even, we don't even know if it is an artifact. You've created something I describe powerful. it as that because it seems like a lot of power. It's something powerful. And I'm proud of it. And you should be. However, this poses a great threat to many of us. You have to understand that. Please, follow Sylvan's wishes. I'll take that within consideration, but I... Think about it. As a member of this guard, and an assistant to Sylvan, I have to ask that you follow through with his wishes. There is no promises. We need to see if it actually is an artifact first. There must be made accommodations for this, Otto. You cannot hold on to something like that. I am aware. Oh yeah, we don't want to explode. But I meant like for for, for the mission we're going on. You can punch the hell out of I can punch stuff. Yeah. And I can also make we weapons out of magma. Oh, magma. Like so I make my hammer. It's my products. Let me see if it's actually artifact grade. Otherwise, then it's more of a detriment if it actually is. I cannot stop you right now. So then. But if they ask me of to, course. yes, I will. Take it within consideration that this may not actually be an artifact or just a maybe a very powerful enchanted item. We describe it as an artifact because, well, we don't quite know how else to describe Artifacts it. Artifacts are generally made with souls. Yes, generally. And from what you describe, invulnerability is something that an artifact can produce, correct? 
Well, it's a lot more than that. It is invulnerability to all physical damage, and then another one that creates invulnerability to all magical damage, and then another exactly. one that stops the ravages of decay, disease, sickness, age. So, the only reason that we call it an artifact, because to us, it's it feels otherworldly. What it is, is a glove of magnetism. We can focus it in a cone, depending on the amount of I mana that we pour like, into it. I would I like to investigate this. I'll give you a demonstration. But, I, I will say, if I deem this to be an artifact, I would like you to destroy it. It's special to me, Sylvan. I know. I can't but just destroy know. something so valuable to me. This could change my life. Nothing good comes from artifacts. <sighs> Trust me, out of the weapons that I have made in my life, some of them have been lauded as artifacts when not even them. And all I have heard is the amount of people that have died to get their hands on them. Mortal Let's kind be... seek power. Mm. <sighs> Let me see if I can get it evaluated. That's how we describe it. It's very powerful. If you deem it an artifact, then I would rather it buried away. Even though it is dangerous, something like that, I cannot destroy. Mm. But either way, I have it disappear. Why, every time I think you're on this side and then you switch sides on me. I just don't want to accidentally bump into your sword. Oh, yeah, true. Sildon? Yes? May I have your assistance with a matter of forging something? Of course! I'm more than happy to help. Though I will be probably going to sleep soon because this new body actually apparently oh, no, right. feels tiredness. I will only need a moment. I have an idea. Bing instructed me to have ingenuity, creativity. I am attempting of to course. do some, something of the sense. Before you lies three pieces of metal, <laughs> molten and ready for shaping. One, a pike, the other an axe blade, and finally, a maul. I'm going to forge them together to create my first halberd, or a poleaxe, for Moni. She requested this. However, each piece is seldomly created separately, and to forge them together is a very difficult task for me at the moment. But you... You can handle heat. You are adverse to it. You are heat. The fire, the flames, all of it. They are shaped enough so that I can complete it once they are formed together. But as they are now, I won't be able to do anything with them. Take your hands. Put them together, carefully. And use your fingers to mold the metals together. You want me together. to fuse the... Fuse the metals? I play. I can do that for you. All right. I would suggest standing back because this is about to get very hot. As you wish. So I'm just going to take the pieces, and then I'm going to press my fingers down, and it is just my hands are just going to go fucking molten as I'm just going to start pressing down the metals into each other. Bring it around. 
do the same as I'm going to sculpt the heat down into the points that I'm doing. Use the knuckles, not the wrists. Brace your forearms together I know carefully. what I'm doing. This isn't the first time I've done this. But it was smart of you to figure it out as well. Without me needing to tell you. Heated metal is very much there. like play. If you use it right. Impressive as always, Sildon. Thank you. Uh, I have been doing this for a long time. No doubt. But it was smart that you realized that you could fuse it that way. I suppose I could have tried myself, but my skills are not as tough as your hands. It's not just creating heat that I'm doing. I'm molding the heat. Mm. How I do this is I bring the heat from all extremities to between my fingers, and then I have the heat dancing between them. Almost like I was stitching the metal, in a sense. You... melded. No. You welded these together. Welding. Yes. Mm. Heat passing through my fingertips between all four, moving through the center of the pieces. I was aware of the great power that comes from greater spirits, but I guess I was not prepared to see it with my own eyes. <laughs> Trust me, this is nothing in comparison to what I could do. In my true form, I was able to shape earth and metal and bind it. I was able to create alloy at whim through shaping the sheer earthen molten cores that I was able to pluck from the depths of volcanoes. I could press earth into diamonds at whim and shape them to tools for my desires. I have very little memories of my childhood, but often lizard folk regarded greater spirits such as yourself as gods and the dragonkin demigods, your children. I knew a dragon. They were very lovely. Mm. I have yet to meet one myself. Apparently they, uh... Apparently they guarded the gate that traversed between one of the entrances to the Plains of Fire and their domain. They thought themselves very scholarly. Would you not if you were one of them as well? Can't say. Fair enough. We had very few visitors to the Plains of Fire. As the most told. we ever had was a band of dwarves and a dragon. Well, those were the only ones I knew of. There could have been more. Still done. Yes. Hmm? Yes. 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 He holds up his gloved hand. Doesn't look like anything. However, from the tool bench, one of the wrenches, right to his hand. Oh, how, how big of a radius he, is that? Um, it is a focused radius. Okay. So he can do this. 
and as long as he has a good g- g- footing, he can pull you towards him ever so. Okay. As much with as much mana he's pulling in. I am carrying, oh, I'm carrying an unsharpened me. axe piece. That's so it's why. It's not actually an artifact. No, this isn't an artifact. Not by a long shot. It's just a you very well crafted enchant. You. It is a very good enchant. I would say would that like this would it? be something along the lines of a rare enchant. A rare enchant? If you a were rare... talking about an artifact, I thought you were going to literally point at the town and start ripping all of the metal out of, like, the earth and the trees and the buildings. Well, well, here's... Uh, the thing well, is, it might be able to do that with enough Depending mana. on That's the, the amount of mana that you pour into it. Theoretically, with this, that's possible, but it could damage the club it would as well as the individual. Also, it would probably also yeah. drain the person and crush the person using it. Yes. Well, from what I know, you have a lot of metal inside of yourselves, so it would probably very much kill the user as it would rip out the metal from their bodies. Well, that is something that we have taken into consideration with this room. Hmm. It is a there's, a, there's, there's a small so there's a small sequence that we work together on right here. Uh, when you know, so like it's it's runic. Uh, we we have been trying to translate it to you. Uh, it does actually take that into consideration. I'm proud of that. She helped. Hmm. I did it. Well, either well, way, well, I helped you. I I'm, I made the sequence. From... sequence. You made the rune. From what I can okay. see. And what I'm understanding of this, this is not an artifact. It has an exponential chance of growth, but the problem is the materials it is made out of and the rune itself would not allow someone to exponentially input mana. Either the gauntlet would break, the rune would break, or the wielder would break first. Good. True. So basically, an artifact would essentially be something that can do that without the item breaking. The it would be breaking, possible to make and... an artifact with this magic, but that's the yes. same for all kinds of magic. That's any rune, mm. technically. Yeah. Hmm. Got a little excited with a brand new magic, essentially, I guess. It's just, it's not really a brand new magic. It's just a brand new way of conveying it. Have you heard of metal magic? I was magic? about to say, because I, I can do that. Well, not anymore, but in my original form I could. I was able to pull metals from the earth. Hmm. Fair enough. Wait. Hmm. Fascinating. But it... Is that thing, you have basically done what your ancestor did long ago. You took the primordial magics and twisted them into your own methods. We did basically just give a sequence to a rock rune. I mean, to me, most modern magic is essentially a bunch of mad scribbles that somehow work. It's like you guys just believe it works and it works. They have some semblance of reason, if you can read them. Yes. That's why I'm trying to learn so, from Lady Nishka, but so far a lot of it has, to me, made a very little sense. But that might just be me fair. stuck in my old ways. The, um, the it's room, though. not easy to learn. It took me about 50 years. 50 years? Shit. Well, I know the entire runic language. You can probably learn would most you believe of it. Me in, like, would you believe me if, you, if, I, if I said that I did as well? I took my time. I'm just a 30-year-old man. <laughs> I still find it weird, the concept I had 125 of years you to not read, so. knowing things when you were born. When I came into well. existence, I already knew all of the runic alphabet. Huh. Then again, I popped into creation with all innate knowledge that I needed, so... Fair enough. 
I just slowly learned the language while I was learning enchanting. Because I needed it to do anything. What do I do with this glove? Do I sell it? Do I give it to somebody? Do I pl literally just... Whoosh, he just plucks a nail from the floorboard? Hey! Um, the oh, fuck? Sorry, he just, he just puts it back into its slot and just like... Shh, steps, back, steps back. You should ask Melody. It could prove useful for our mission. You guys know where Amaris is? Um, no. no. Terribly sorry. You could also make smaller versions or attach it That's to That's what I'm it. saying. A different you were glove about making that... a repulsor. Yes. I basically had the idea of making a gunpowder with gun. Oh, well, I've already done that. Okay. In a sense. But, but, but... No, do you remember the repulsion spheres that I made? Oh, wow. You Jeez. would just be able to use that in, into a into a rifle, in a way. It would just, whatever you put into there, it would repulse along the barrel. True. Huh. Having both would be good. Well, in, a, in that sense, uh, the repulsion would magnify the effect of it. Exactly. Imagine if we applied rifling to this. Imagine if we applied... Because other... um, how the repulsion magic works is it is technically not a direct magic. All it does is play any sort of income of magic, ice magic, earth magic, and converts it directly into force energy. If you were to make a very complicated barrel, you could have multiple uses of repulsion magic interacting with itself, creating a chain reaction down the barrel, exponentially increasing the velocity of whatever it is you put in there. But what if we just Christ. wanted to put whatever we please? Yeah, exactly. What if we please? What if we just had whatever we please? Those you those... would need to you would need to at minimum. Have some um, mana in the office. Guys, uh, catch but you can make a runic system to I believe she ran off that direction. The weapon itself. Right. That's the entire thing. I saw her ears were leaned back. That's why I just wanted to check in if she's doing alright. Exactly. Mm. Which for some people can't really I don't know. But she ran off that direction, if that helps. Uh, I'll check in with her in just a second. Let me check in with Melody and Pete. Oh, is that Melody? No, it ain't. It looked like from the back. Is it Otto? It's fine. Dilla the Phoenix, what are you going to do? You taking some rounds or...? Most likely, yes. But I may stick around. Apparently Nishida is teaching lessons on Rurik magic that I need to listen in on for the mission tomorrow morning. You should, absolutely. Anything that'll help you get the edge on things is good. Good blade. I know of them, but the point is, well, get the slashing and the stabbing. You're good. Got to be careful a little bit about the sharp edges around the calm guard, but should be fine. I will be careful. It's more for the sake of it. It's more for the sake of it, the last thing you want to hear is go is for a wide swing and then end up putting yourself in a jugular. But mm. else, you're good. Thank you for all your help. Lad, I was not in town or was not here for the sake of safety because of the entire elk situation. I've heard from others that you've been doing pretty well when it comes to blacksmithing. And you've been taking over from me for quite a bit. I'm the one who's supposed to say thank you. My skills have not yet honed to your level, but I am learning steadily. It's not about honing your skills. It's about being there for the people. And for that, that I'll thank you for. Of course. This could probably exactly. like I'm sure there will be a lot of times in the future where we we'll still need help, where there will still be internal conflict within town. But I expect it to be a neutral force. Someone who's going to listen and act accordingly for the sake of everybody. Exactly. 
So I would suggest out of Smoke all of you. Something along the lines of Very much so. Well, exactly. That's, the issue. that's exactly one of the main reasons. You say, I mean, you say noble, but you say yourself. You ever meet that one vampire person and I'll step in between you and I'll knock my head clean off? It's still going to happen. I'm still going to put myself in between you and them. Perhaps you have been gone for too long. Are you busy? I don't usually work with them because they're heavy. Not really right now. I was looking for Snowbell, but uh, she's been running off. I can check on her a little bit later. You seem to be a busy man. Perhaps another time. No, of course. Tell me. Listen, if you want to pull me aside and have a conversation, I don't mind. Very well. Pull me. I think. Come on. Lad. It seems since your arrival you have done nothing but talk to people of the town. You are in and out of conversations quite frequently. Are you not exhausted? <sighs> Me? No. Listen, I've been working out here for quite a while. I'm not really getting exhausted anymore. I'm kind of used to it at this point. I suppose you must I said I'm a blacksmith. And I... Merchant as well, you kind of get used to being up as much as possible for the sake of people. Hmm. There is a new guardsman. Amongst us. I... A... I... A half-moon elf. Her name is Kaji Karajna. What about that? She approached me her first night here. Hmm. Go on. She admitted to me that she was a vampire. Ballsy move, I'll give her that. What she do you do? She didn't know of my aversion. No, I should not put it lightly. She did not know of my hatred. I... I attempted to kill her. Very soon after. I is understandable. I was stopped by Talia, Blake, and Vitos. And since then... <sighs> I have been attempting to get along with them, but as of recent, I tested them. I took them to a field, and I dueled them, carefully, methodically. In a moment, I grappled them, held them into the air. I sliced open my arm and let blood drip from it. Forcing her to, well, acknowledge its existence. Huh. Make the animal smell blood, potentially bringing it out. I wanted to prove that she was a danger, that she should not be kept here. I did everything I could to show others how evil and disgusting that they are. But she proved me wrong. When I let go of her, she... She did not attack. She didn't bite, she didn't lunge. She never said anything to harm my pride or... insult me. Instead, she explained herself and carefully told me of her affliction, and how she did not want to be who she was. And with the display that she put on, I had no choice but to believe her. For how could someone not like her 
be telling a lie in that situation. This is what I said it meant when I've told you that some people don't really have a choice in a lot of their matter. Either they're running, either they're forced, they're bound, there is anything stopping them from being who they truly want to be. Some people are forced to be a monster. Some people choose to be. The people that you've had in your past chose to be monsters. She didn't. Hmm. I dare say I'm a little disappointed that you had to goad her into potentially biting for the sake of the alarm thing, just to prove a point. But, it was a risk that was necessary for the sake of everyone. I don't think you've made a bad choice. Just a stupid one. I agree. She has been nothing but kind to me lately. She watched over me while I rested. After I collapsed from exhaustion yesterday, and watched over me throughout the night. I don't know what this means. I'm still struggling to understand this. My mind tells me... you all and turned upside down, I... I know that feeling. Everything that my body has taught me to hate, to fear, to kill... ...is now in front of me, and... ...I can't do it. Because I know that they're good people. And I don't understand why. Overall, I think a lot of it is confusion. A lot of it is still your body having to get used to that fact. I don't think you should lose your cautiousness around vampire. You have have the experience in the past to stand there and say there's a reason to be afraid and cautious. You should drop the hatred what is stopping you. The hatred is the thing that fuels idiocy, brashness. The things that make you look stupid by the end of it. The things that make you slash your own arm to prove that you're a monster, that prove to them that they're a monster. Caution is one thing. Hatred is another. Believe me, no matter who joins in this town, no matter who gets here, no matter if it's money, no matter if it's anybody else, this fucking Earl person that apparently is now part of this town, I'm cautious around everybody new. But I'm not going to be hateful around them. Because remember one thing. When I first entered this town, I went in here with the same fear the same worry that this is going to be another town where they see an ogre, they pull out their weapons, and they immediately see me as a threat. Yet they didn't. They choose to welcome me. Especially after I told them there was a blacksmith. Welcomed me with open arms. This was the first time in multiple years that someone has accepted me in this life. Without a problem. I'm not going to give anybody else a hard time because everybody here is giving me an easy time. Hmm. It's hard to abandon something that kept me alive. That burning hatred, the searing anger, 
That's what got me through all of those days, those years that I spent in their captivity. Now, what kept you alive dealing with it? these vampires? It was caution, carefulness, learning about others, how they react, how they act. That is what kept you alive. The hatred was just a reason for you to act out of line, for the reason to kill them without any necessary reason. Hatred is not a fuel to say, to protect yourself. It is a veil that you can hide behind to be ignorant. To choose to ignore the fact that there are indeed people out there who can be of evil nature, but are technically still good. Look at me. There are a lot of ogres around there who are like me. I know that for a fact. A lot of people might look at me at first sight and think I'm a monster. Yet here I am. Being a blacksmith. Being a merchant. Being a teacher. Do you think a monster can do that? The only thing monstrous about you is your strength. And your kindness. That kindness comes from the fact that I've dropped my hatred. Replaced it with caution. Caution is what keeps you alive. Hatred is the thing that fuels you to run quicker into the nearest blade. I do not wish to die yet. There is still much I have to do here. I owe this town my life. My advice is... Stop the hatred. And think for one fucking second. I will do my best. Old habits die hard. But... Oh, trust me, they do. They fucking do. This place has given me a second chance. A second life. I won't let it go to waste. This place has given... This place has given me a life to begin with. Shit. Given me a life. Family. Love. Places different. That's why I think you should accept the fact that you've been given the second chance. Why should others not deserve that chance either? Good life, Phoenix. I know that. You just went through your own reasons, your own struggles. And like I said, that hatred blinded you. As soon as you find a way to turn that hatred to something more usable, not fuel, not a veil, not a reason, but use that energy instead of killing vampires helping the ones that do not want to be in that position I feel like you're going to do a lot more damage to the people that hurt you than just killing another one perhaps you were right You mentioned that you feel, you feel love. 
En fact, tu es. What? What is love? It's the sensation of having someone who you deeply care about next to you. Love can come in many forms. This can be just the love you have for a friend or the love you have for companionship or the love that you have for someone who you want to have in your life for the end of your, for the end of your life. It can come in many forms. They're all not wrong. A lot of times the most picturesque love is the one between man and a woman, or man on man, man on woman on woman. It's the entire aspect of having somebody who is your romantic partner for the end of days. That is one, the picturesque way of love. There is also the love of friendship. One who you hold close as your friend. The one who you do not want to lose because they mean so much to you. Their companionship, their kindness, their joy. It all rubs off on you. That can be the love of a friend. Or the potential love. Just someone who has given you a lot of things that you can't repay. Love is a strong emotion. It just only depends who you give it to. Because everybody deserves love. Not a lot of people should get it freely. Do you think I am deserving of this? Love? Of course you are. Everybody is. Mm. Like I said. Just depends who's willing to give you love. Because you don't get to have that choice. That choice is all up to other people. It's to love you. I see. I, once again, thank you for... Everything, Bing. You've been gone for several days and yet your arrival has so much impact on me, on everyone. You were very here. It's not like I was gone. In my own place, in my own apartment, I was just... I was just scared, for lack of a better word. I know what Elk has done. I know what he's capable of. The reason why I was locked in myself in there was that I might potentially not turn into the people that, well, that nearly lost their own life. Because the way how it is, they're all capable fighters, but they all can deal with Jenny. They all can deal with Melody. You all can deal with them. But you yourself can see that, Phoenix. If it happens to me, it's quite a different problem. Ogres are not easily taken down. They ain't. Especially not if you meet my brother. Do you ever... What of a signal. Do you ever see me not in myself, but instead with it? Sounds silly to say. With a sack on my head. It's not me. Or your weapons. Or your shield. But at that point, there will be a fight happening. I know very little about ogres. I never had to encounter one in my captivity. But I know that, that your skin is hard as stone. Your arms are like the force of mountains. 
Oh. That's the thing. It's not an ogre thing. It's a me thing. And the worst part about it is it's a me thing that I can control. But once it happens... <sighs> for lack of a better word, it just kind of needs to run its course. I could go into deep detail of how things are and how things are understood when it comes to me. It's, it's a long story. If I could ask you to put it in writing, I will hold on to it so that when the time comes, I will be well-versed in what to do. I don't even need to put it into writing. I mean, I'll give you a very simple command for what happens when you see me with a sack on my head. Run. Just run. I'll make sure that others have time to follow and make sure that others are able to get away. Once they're safe, run yourself. I, I consider your friend now. But once that happens, no one's a friend. Everybody will be an enemy. I will do my best. And of course, if you should kill me, please don't be feel. Please don't feel bad. I can take a lot of beatings, but if it should happen, then it fucking happens. There's not much you can do about it. Give me time. Let me train. Let me learn. Let me grow my strength. Perhaps in time, <sighs> maybe I can keep you busy. Just so that you can tire yourself out. That's the thing, Phoenix. If you're up against that, you will not win the war of nutrition. You won't. The only thing you can do is pay, make sure that I'll pay attention to you until everybody else is gone. And once that happens, the smartest option for you is to run as well. Regardless, I will still need to have you focus yourself on me and away from the others, so that they may escape. I understand. There's no one thing that... If it should happen, then... No matter if I die, I stay alive. If I break your bones... No hard feelings are right. Of course. After all, you would do the same for me. <sighs> I would, would do it for a lot of people in this town. Uh, in the end of the day, everybody here has given me a home. It'd be a fool's choice to just throw that all away. Take care of yourself, then. Oh well, Phoenix. Oh well.
Hello, Pixie. Hmm. Hey. Yeah, good luck on that mission, Phoenix. Thank you, Herbals. Evening. Evening. Have a good night. Phoenix. Have a good one.
He's a, he's a very I, happy chap. I literally and, uh, him and I'm like, God, I don't even returned. know what's going through his head. I don't know how he got out. <sighs> oh. oh, here we go. Perfect. Okay. Once you're done oh, with okay. it, you just pull it back. Uh, with this glove, you can do that. Huh? Never mind. Uh, you, you, um, sure you, give me those bracelets. you, you talk to them you first. Uh, to I, uh, I know. I, I came here to speak with you as well, but night. they're more important. Trust me. This is. Oh well. So I'll, still, I'll tell that's, you this. That's only, I mean, if you two want to talk, if you I'm okay. Have It'll be for quite a few minutes. I think so. Sell it to someone that's. Probably not me. Might as well do whatever you're about to do. How, how long is the, that conversation going to be? Uh, I don't I know. Maybe five minutes. Before. Depends yeah, on how long you wish to talk, I suppose. Hungry if you're... Like, <laughs> that's generous. Developments. This is a one-of-a-kind thing. I could try to keep it brief. Yeah, now, you, now I feel like you're dreaming a little bit. But I mean, you might also the fact actually. You, you, kind, it so kind of involves your guard, the guards, so we might as well talk about it over here. Come on. <sighs> I suppose this is what we're doing now. I think Deus and I have some more research. What'd you say? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't hear you. Good evening. Oh, you as well. Thank you. Yes. Good you evening. You might need to hear about this. I would love to. I've been hearing quite a lot. Oh boy. So there's an egg that's basically luring people to become addicted to it. What do you mean? Where it's mm -hmm. like playing music. It plays music to them. At first it sounds like shit, but then apparently it gets better and better. I... And to the point where somebody gets addicted to it. What are you talking about? It's... Music's fine. I don't understand why... What do you mean? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. No, because... Whoa. Sorry. Sorry. Fuck. It's been a night. Okay. What the hell was that? Edmund. I don't know. I, I think that was... Okay. Go on. Blake is currently a medical because of it. The man has been addicted to it. He hasn't slept. He probably hasn't eaten properly in days. And he's collapsed. No. Yes. And this is from mm, we're the... We're showing symptoms of having a heart attack. Whoa. Okay mm -hmm. then. Alright, that is massive. And this is coming from the music yes. box yep. that plays the, the, the little music and stuff. Mm -hmm. yes. I, yep. I've i listened to it a few times myself, and it hasn't... I mean... What is your opinion on the egg itself? Do you have, like, a desire to get it? It's... Do you really want it? Do you really want it? it I mean, at first, the music itself was ear-splitting. It was god-awful. I, I mean, but now it's... Mm. I don't know, comforting, I suppose? You don't feel like an a, a infatuation of keeping it, just holding it you constantly? You have an infatuation. I, I, I would like to have it on my person now, so to listen to it, but... I don't have a drive to do so, I've got duties to do. Yeah, well, Blake, hmm. uh, had the same, I believe, had the same feeling, and was now addicted to it. And now we currently hmm. have Snowbell, who has currently got a hold of the egg, who is uh, trying to listen to it as, uh, as well. Where the hell is Snowbell? So... And... The guards She's are currently asleep. looking She's after just... her, I believe. Yeah. Oh, shit. She's in my tent. She's asleep. Oh, I boy. believe Gobby's oh. actually hidden it. Mm. He didn't. I asked him. Snowbell's already hidden it. Fuck. But it's okay. I can speak to her. I think she still trusts me. But the weirdest thing was when we tried to track her footprints, Gobby and Erebos claim that she went into the veil. I went, and not only did she try to cover her tracks, 
looks like she did circles in the veil. Mm. She went into the veil. Edie's keep an eye on her. She and also another question. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, Go ahead. Blake had been Blake had been mentioning hearing voices like when he tried to sleep. Have you experienced this? Most recently when I opened the egg, I I saw a pale maiden draped in some sort of white clothes. And a figure was dancing with her next to it. Slowly, ever so slightly, that figure turned into me. I haven't had any dreams or visions, but I <sighs> I don't know what that means. I was curious about it. I wanted to keep watching to see what it would do, but before I could, um, that woman, Aubrey and uh, Justin, stopped me. Almost took the keys to the jail cell away from me because of it. Okay. Great. So, okay. We believe that artifact to have possibly been... I don't know if they're linked, but... The door over there? Right, yeah. I heard about that Apparently, too. Apparently... There's two doors. Oh, there's multiple. Yeah, one of the doors. There's, there's that one. Yes, there's two doors. Oh, fancy that. Funny enough, one... It's like two doors away from my house, and the other one is connected to the town hall. Now, the thing is, the one that's near my house, apparently that goes to an old lady's tea shop. Oh, and well, that yes. one, that's pleasant. Apparently, well, apparently, that's where Snowball went. Snowball, Before, Gobby, you know, when I, when a, I went, a couple of other people. You know where I went chasing her? Yeah. yeah, because she went in there. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's yeah. what happened. That's a problem. I was about that. It's a very big problem, actually. <sighs> mm-hmm. More, more the other one from that as well. Do I have all? The problem is, no, no. The, the the second door, if I remember correctly, the guy. What was what's the invisible dude's name again? Uh, Earl, right? The one who worked in the, uh, the tea Earl, shop. Yes. Yeah. Earl, yes. He's currently missing. As of course he is. Mm -hmm. oh. He, for what? Marnie said he took there was a, a a box or something that was given to him mm -hmm. by the door. It was like a clear box. Clear box, and when he looked into it, he saw, it, it showed like a pit, like a some sort of like weird vision of an area and disappeared. So we assume it's sooner. I think it was sooner. We yeah, we think it's sooner. Now the thing is, is that Marnie is coming, uh, is coming with us to go deal with Elk, oh. or to go deal with the Elk situation, because he's there, possibly. I also heard that you're taking the big guy with you <laughs> as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that's gonna yeah, leave this yeah. place a bit vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I suppose Bing and Sildon are still here. You have Bing and. No, Sildon's coming with us. Sildon's going with you as well? Here, Wasn't he just bit. in a really bad state recently? I thought he was itching himself like oh, crazy. Oh no, he's like, he's... Uh, yeah, he's no, he got worse and now he's made a contract with me and Bing. So technically their contract's now broken with the mistress or something like that. Oh, well... So I'd now we're kind of at war with the, with the mistress. Uh, and he is now like, buffed Sildon now and he can also... And he also said he has a penis now. Oh, oh, he yeah, actually has one now. Long. See, before he didn't and I... Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I... Oh, yeah, that's an image in my so head dumb. that I can't get out yeah. of my head. Wow. Fire so penis. So now we call him Weenie Don. Weenie, weenie Don. He has Don. a spot to keep all his keys stored <laughs> in now. Do you, do you think it's enchanted with <laughs> fire <laughs> aspect too? I wonder if before it's... Before we get no, too far, no, before we no. get too far off topic. <laughs> no. Actually, um, about that door by your house. Yes, yes, of course. Right. Aww. So... It's just it, it keeps disappearing and reappearing. Well, apparently, Blake was supposed to go back in and meet the individual inside there, but he kind of fucking passed out and nearly died, possibly, so he wasn't able to do it. Gabi went back to go inform her. She wasn't there, but in her stead, he takes out a tarot card. Doesn't have a direct name for it, but on it is a sun with a sword going through it. I did a little bit of research, and that represents rebirth. However, 
depending on in which manner it is, as you might know, tarot cards can have different meanings, whether they're face up or face down. Face, face down up. usually meaning was, bad. Is it faced up or was it face down? That's the problem. They don't know for certain. And with that being said, this transformation could either be like a good thing or it could be like a trans transformation in the form of a a regression or any portion. I am going to be completely honest with the both of you. Um I am just a simple man who was a farm boy and became a god. And I I literally have no concept of how bad or how interesting or intricate this magic shit is. I'll leave that to you two. Shit's awful. I so I've heard Shit's and whack. seen. It is it's very whack. Shit's whack. Magic kinda sucks, True. I'm not gonna True. lie. I kinda wish we didn't have it, but at the same time, it's super useful for the people who have it, so it's like... Hey, look. I'm glad of it, because one, I could do my, my abilities as a medical doctor, and two, I can talk and breathe. I wouldn't be here if there wasn't for magic. Well, I mean, we, we might be able to, you know, suffice. I'm joking, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. That was really rude of me. It's fine, don't worry. I'm going on a mission anyway. So no, no, fine. Melody, please. I'm, there was, I was an attempt at humor. I wasn't actually serious. <laughs> you fucking goofball. She's like, don't worry, bro. I'll die just for you. No, please do not do that. I would be very sad. Sort of. Really it's you'll, complicated. You'll have to do with Bing. I'll explain. Sort of. I will explain. I will explain. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I'd be sad, you know buddy. <laughs> you know that is not what I meant by that. I'll be sort of sad. Stop it. <laughs> can, I'll I be like, hey. can I get your gun? I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> no. invoke some divine <laughs> justice on both it of you somehow, some way. You will both feel my wrath. Please, after the not night, not even feel mine first. Jeez. <laughs> oh, anyway, yes, sooner <laughs> Earl gone, and we're having troubles <laughs> with Blake, and now the rabbit. We just got mm -hmm. back from having troubles in the first place. <sighs> Possibly mm? you. Possibly me. Mm -hmm. No, understandable. I'm glad you yeah. came to me about it. Otherwise, I would have kept doing it. Shite. I have one. Le I have one leading theory to this right now. And that is. You mentioned how it started. You mentioned how it started off sounding like absolute horseshit, right? But yeah. It, it was god awful. Yeah. As long as people don't listen to it for too long, they won't be infected by it. So if mm -hmm. people start to hear it, they just need to absolutely drop they everything and run. Mm. Just leave ASAP. Okay. Well, I know what to as do then. Nice as the music oh, I'm something sure that we did gets. find out. What? Yes. Hi. Hmm? What? The. Well. The box. In there, the silver coin company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely from the same place. Well, items, that makes things interesting, doesn't it? The items on that on that shipwreck. Yeah. That's where like this egg has come from. The conch shell, the gloves, the rings. You know. All the party magic tricks. These shit. all come from. Yes, they've come from a silver. They've come from the silver coin company, which, funny enough, is linked to Elk Galvis. Oh, you've got to be shitting me! So we Very were looting cool. his goddamn ship in our shipyard. Uh, well. Yes. No. Ooh! I gave a Solitary. pearl to Bing. Oh, you, you know one of those, um, you know one of those uh, dark pearls that I can produce uh -huh. that you've been eating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you I, right, I bastard! Don't you dare like sneak up on me like that and then scare the piss out of me. Just because you're an assassin doesn't mean you is can flaunt it. Iron? Is there? I'm not an assassin. Nope. Is there any iron in your? Fuck. Nope. <laughs> my sword, maybe. Nope. I don't know. It's steel. I think the rest of my gear is I'm, too. I'm tapped anyway. Okay, Good. well, do you have any gold? Do you have any, like, uh, iron no. things in your gold pouch? <laughs> Otto, look at me. Get going, go, go. I would love to have a conversation with you, but we are very busy at the moment, please. I am, I am, Goodbye. yeah, I'm currently trying not to... Uh. Okay. Okay, so, the the thing is with that, is Galvis... How do I explain this? The papers that we found on Galvis um, allude to the fact that the... The Silver Coin Merchant Company in Suna are in good works with Galvis mm -hmm. and his charity. Mm. Yep. Okay, so he's done a Jasper whole company. Ryder is the all right? All right, hang on. Under his, yeah, he has very influential people on his belt. And um, <laughs> mm. I put this. Do you know why we're going to Suna? Yes, yes. Um, if you. People told me already, you're on your way to kill him. 
Because he might still be alive. Well, hmm. we don't... Yeah, we don't know if he's alive still, so... Regardless, if he is, the bastard needs to die. So, plain and simple. True. But not without answers, but yes, true. Mm, I could do without answers, to be completely honest with you. I'm not gonna lie. I think he just needs to die. She deserves them. She... I deserve them, at least. <sighs> you do. You're right. Okay. I need to figure out what but he did to he my mom. But then he needs to die. He needs to die. The and bastard need, no, needs to no, be dead. No, he doesn't dead. need to die. He needs to suffer. Okay, but can... He needs to and, suffer and for everything after, he's done. Afterwards, he dies. And then right? he dies. Right? Okay, there we go. Now we're getting yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Perfect. To, we got I there need questions. Day. He gets... He has to suffer. For everything he's put Bing through. Mm-hmm. And Ding. Mm-hmm. And me. Mm -hmm. And my mother. Mm-hmm. Ginny. Mm -hmm. And Otto. Mm-hmm. And all the people Shocking he's fucked around with. Look, I would have signed up for this mission myself, but big guy signed up before I could, so... Trust me, yeah. my heart was broken. I had been talking to her about how invested I was in taking the hurt to this motherfucker, but... Maybe we can ask Thank Phoenix you. to bring a trophy of him back, you know? Maybe a severed head? Something like that? No. No. No? I, I think I think no. as soon as we can confirm it's him and he's done, I think that man should be burned. And there shouldn't be a single itty bitty trace left of it. Oh, you like burn them and then take the ashes and total, throw it into its own total like, annihilation. BS. Right, got it. Absolutely okay. annihilate him. Got it. Okay. After she gets her wish, of course. Um. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Um. I appreciate the information. Need to out this as well. Amaris, thank mm. you for informing yes. us of everything so far. You've been doing great work. We appreciate it, especially at the guard. I'll, I'll be around the town, so... But me. if I may speak <laughs> to Melody about something personal. You're heading to bed, right? After this? Yeah. Can I meet you outside? Somebody go give Bing a hug as well for me. I appreciate it. Jeez. <sighs> yep. I would if you... I, I would, but the bastard might crush me, and I, I kind of need my lungs, you know? You won't. Letting you know if you figure out how you're gonna pay for them or whatever. I can make them all hopefully in a night, and I might even add a few extra enchantments. At least I think I'll be able to. Feel confident. Uh, don't push yourself if you can't. Please. Oh, fancy we need them. <laughs> I'd rather people that pay me to make something not die. Bing! Yeah. Curved swords! Have you seen this before? Look at this! This is fantastic! I had a few healing enchantments free of charge. Self healing. I've never seen something like that before. Use them sparingly. Oh. And just a tutorial now. Focus on which one you want. Look at it! That that's a, that's fantastic! If you just I've never seen something like that. Without focusing on which one, it'll do both. No! I mean, the you know, skim and scimitars and all that sort of stuff. She's not a curved sword, Bing. A curved the, the, the sword. The I've only ever seen straight like ones. They don't yeah. use it. Curved yeah, ones in itself have the good ability the because they help a lot more. Healed, healing, with the agileness, as well as the roundness to a blade, it's a lot less worrying and caring, which is essentially just a shock stick. Huh. Or at least them to show up at some point, and I didn't know them. My runes are very... Okay. You make this one card? I need to... I need to, um... I probably do. Unlock them for people. But again, that's also, uh... Otherwise oh. Special equipment in itself for the guards itself, so... Uh, it's not really, uh... Fine, fine. Unless you, know, you know, want to get yourself a personal weapon, I can do that. But until then... I'll... It's geez. the equipment you're getting. I trust the equipment you guys give us, no worries. Okay. I was just... Mucking I just about. I know someone decently well. No, I'll get oh, what you mean. Sad. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. My lantern. Sleep well. I'll get out of your hair immediately. I just want to say good night, Melody. Mm -hmm. So, you take care of yourself, lass, all right? Mm -hmm. Everybody seems to be giving me hugs today. I mean, I'm not saying no, but all right. Come in. Well, <laughs> I mean, mainly because, you know, it's... Missions and all that, and they're not that fun to deal with, but you know. They're not fun, uh, but I also know you all are capable, so I'm not worried or anything. I'll give but you, a, okay. I'll give you a fist bump. How about that? I feel like a hug might be 
too much. That was good. No, give him a hug. Give him a hug. Please, no. give him a what? hug. I, th that's weird. Give him a hug. That's it weird. Might fix his back. It might fix Edmund's back. My, there's nothing wrong with my back. <laughs> I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I think. All right, that's scoliosis. <laughs> I was, I was standing weird because you were looking at me. Throw it. What? You're really gonna do him like that, Melody? It's very rude, yeah. honestly. I don't I'm sorry, do I have stoliosis? Sorry, Dad. You're fine. I mean, you're throwing it back pretty hard. I do give you. Oh, for fuck's sake! All right, you two, just I need to speak with Melody. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, I've been trying to for the past five minutes. Oh, wait, I'll stay in your house. But, no, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, it's just in case because I'm. Oh, okay then. Go talk to Bing then. Oh my God, I am. What the fuck? I thought you all were fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> Scoliosis, bro. What the shit? One, 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 one hell of a joke. <laughs> Scoliosis. Oh, that's so much better. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Alright, well, I fixed it. I fixed my scoliosis. It's gone completely. Stop looking at me like that. Scoliosis. Quit looking at me with them big old eyes. Scoliosis. And <laughs> quit looking at me with those big old eyes. I'm so dumb. Come on. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, serious time. Quit making me laugh. I'm trying to be. Serious. Yeah, I'm trying to be serious <laughs> and have a genuine, interesting conversation that might invoke some tears. Oh, on my lap. oh, oh my <laughs> goodness! Oh, no, 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 no! I didn't mean that. No, no, no! Hang on. Look, please. I, I res, I, I don't. I respect the fact that you prefer the company of women. Let me say that first and foremost. I like the company of men as well. What the fuck? Oh, like I like men and women. I've only I've only ever heard of you <laughs> with um with Miss Talia, uh, the Captain Captain Talia. Yeah, so and I she broke my heart. There's a fucking oh, <laughs> there's a difference, bro. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this shit. Please forgive me. Oh my god, <laughs> would you stop sorry, laughing sorry. at me for ten minutes, please? <laughs> you okay, sorry. You're not sorry, and I can tell. <sighs> okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> Fucking right, bastard, you are. Alright. Hi. Shut up. <sighs> okay. About the other day, when I approached you by the medical mm -hmm. wing, and I told you that I knew who you were, but you didn't know who I was. Mm -hmm. I meant that. Sincerely. I know who you are, Melody. I know where you come from, I know who your parents are. Sort of. I, 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 haven't, I haven't met them, but- My friend, that sounds so weird. Look, let me explain first before sounds you like start- like Let me start explaining before you pop okay. shit into your head, right? Okay, okay. I'm gonna grab you by the lips and just fucking keep them shut so I can speak. I knew you when you were being controlled by Galvis. That's how I knew you. That's that's how I met you. I didn't know you as anything else. And for a time when I first met you, everyone else told me to be careful, because they suspected something was wrong, and they weren't sure what. But I wasn't sure. I was, uh, hopeful. I guess you could even say naive if you wanted to. And one night, while I was patrolling, I found you. You were walking the opposite direction of me, on the path, just over there. By the, uh, by the canyon. We stopped and we, um, we talked for a little bit. And I expressed that I was scared deeply of quite a lot of things. And you brought me some comfort. You sat me down. You, you talked to me. We laid together, next, next to each other, on some rocks, and clearing by the forest. And we, um, watched the stars and the clouds move by where the moon was. You talked to me deeply about your family, your mother and your father. 
and the issues that arose with them. You also told me you were cursed. So I, I know about that part too. And in the moment, you made it pretty well known that you were maybe attempting to be my friend. And for someone like me, that was a lot. That... That was a lot for me. I felt you reach out. And I, uh, I took your hand. Figuratively, you didn't, you didn't touch me. And I, I believed you wholeheartedly. Every word you told me. And I also remember telling you that I, if you were to kill me, that I would die happy. Because at least I'd die at the hand of a friend. This wasn't your fault, but can you imagine the grief and the sorrow I felt when I found out that you might not actually be you? And everything that you told me that night might have been a lie. Thank you, Colonel. Hmm? You might have to re- Could you just repeat what you said? I couldn't quite catch what you were saying. What was the last thing I said to you? Grief and the sorrow. Can you imagine the grief and the sorrow that I felt? Mind you that this wasn't your fault. When I found out that, that you might not actually be you. That someone else had a control over you, and those words may not have even been your own. I, I was... Gods, I was devastated. I... That hurt. A lot. I, I, I didn't know what to think, but I also didn't want to abandon you. I didn't want to walk away with the idea or the possibility that somehow, maybe some way, those things that you said to me were true. And that when this was over, you would have your memories. And that everything we spoke about would have made sense to you. And then I talked to you yesterday. You didn't even know who I was. You still don't. <sighs> That's why I oh. walked away. Because I, uh... I, I, I couldn't handle it. I, I couldn't... I couldn't face you. That's okay. You have every right to. Frankly, I... There's a lot of things I've done over the past couple of weeks that I didn't even realize I knew I did. I, I went into that office thinking I have a girlfriend, I have loving friends and people who care about me, I have everything, and I came out without a girlfriend, people distrusting me, and everything basically being my fault for the downfall of everything. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that me, the me I was then, manipulated you in such a way. But if they would, they gave you some hope. I can at least pat them on the back for it. They did something I would do. Hmm. 
Maybe they were actually looking out for you. I don't know. I'd like to think that they were. I don't want... I don't want you to avoid me either. Just because I don't know you. You're a, you're a good guy and I can tell that you are. I don't want you running away though. Each time. Thinking, I guess with the grief and all that. Start anew, start afresh, yes. <laughs> basically what I'm asking. If you'd give me the time. If you're, um, if you're willing, I, uh, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'd always be willing, my friends. God's damn it, you're gonna... Oh, I'm gonna get rust in my helmet. <laughs> oh there. Oh there, friend. <laughs> okay. My name's Edmund Briggs. Melody Dreadmore. You, um... Here's to friendship and here's to, uh... The future. That holds for us all. I, I'm looking, but I didn't, I didn't see anything. Was, was it, Were you supposed to throw something in the air? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish, no. Just be going, like, a rainbow sort of thing. Imagine a rainbow. It's dark out. How are we supposed to see a rainbow? I, Edmund, it's a joke. It's a fucking... <laughs> Oh, Please. oh! You mean figuratively? I see. Okay, yes. F yes. Imagine it so, figuratively. So, rainbow. Rainbow. Wait, is it? Is it with the right hand? Is it the? Le is it? Rainbow. Rainbow. Yes. <laughs> I promise. I have more than five brain cells. I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Look, someone's gonna have more brain cells than me, okay? And I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> All right. Well, if you've got some you want to borrow me, I'll take them, I suppose. <laughs> I'm gonna need them for leading the mission tomorrow. Oh shit! You want to borrow some of mine then? Let me just. <laughs> yeah, just. Boop. Oh, thank you. I oh, feel so much smarter now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Well, you've you've got um. You've you've got to get some rest here, because I'm pretty sure that those classes of yours for the runic stuff with Nish to start soon, doesn't it? I'm going on the mission tomorrow. Right, but I don't think I have time. Was it? Was it Nishta holding things for the for the mission? Nishka's been holding them for days. Oh, maybe I should have. I learned what I need to at least, so I can do that. Okay. Well, then you. I have to get so much done. Get rest. Seriously, you're gonna need it. And for the love of all that is holy and the divine light, please come back in one piece. Alive. Somehow. I can attempt. I want to make sure everybody else gets back as well. Don't. Just do me a favor. Yeah, yeah, anything. If something does happen, and I don't, I'm not trying to let it happen. But if something does happen, that involves me. Make sure Bing doesn't do anything dumb. Look after everybody, if you can. Oh, shit. Until I get back. That is quite the ask, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you have my word, of course. Everything that I have to me. But don't... Do not sacrifice yourself to kill him. That's not the plan. Good. No sacrificing. Good. 
I don't like that sort of shit. It annoys me. Please don't let Phoenix die yeah, either. Plain, he's, plain. he's the only one in our group right now who is as strong as he is compared to everyone else in the guild. So, we kind of need him. Yeah. But, you right, as well. I'm staring at this. You're important. You are very much staring at this. Boop, 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 boop. Sometimes I wonder if he is watching. Through this. Well, for our sake, I hope he is, Seeing because fuck you, you massive piece of cunt. Fucking hate you. I was about to spit in your hand, but I didn't think that was going to be appropriate. <laughs> if you spit in my hand, I would have wiped that on your face. I would have accepted it as well. I, I totally would have deserved that. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. And now we're going to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Resting. You have to get some sleep for tomorrow. I have to nap. And then I have to get the list of people to... Plan your shit, get your potions, make Dose. preparations, rest, close your eyes for at least two hours. People are already doing that for me. I can't, I can't do much apart from figure out a contingency plan. Do what you make have sure to, Make sure that everybody gets out. As soon as such a barricaded place, that's the only problem. It's getting in and out is my concern. You have a... You have... Two massive people with the strength of fucking mountains. You'll make your way in just fine. Trust me. No. That's not what I meant. Oh. The borders. The oh. borders are strict as fuck. Oh, yeah. I've never been to Sumer. I'm trying to get my dad to help us get in. Oh. Things do go awry. He's a merchant in Suna. Funny enough. Mm. You know, smuggle He's... you in like pirates. I like that. No, he would be technically part of his team, helping him out with a very big order. I see. And technically, I would be already allowed because I'm a merchant's daughter. I'm basically on his payroll. Oh, well, look at you. All fancy and shit. Not really, it's just how my dad does it. That's how the business goes. I mean, you grew up with a merchant a father, jeweler. I grew up oh, scooping sorry, shit. Sorry, he's a merchant that sells my mother's jewellery, so... I mean, it works. It works. He has people that he knows, so... Hopefully. <sighs> Grab and... What? 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 Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> uh, okay, then, I... I, I didn't realise... Man. Don't be a fool. You're gonna get me used to these. It's not fair. Well, you're gonna have to get used to them because I do them a lot, so. I'm gonna flick you. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night, Melody. <laughs> yes, I'll admin. I'm gonna do, go sleep in my bed. <laughs> Time to do some nightly patrols. What did that one guy say that one time? Let's get this bread? Whatever the hell that means. It's gotta be good though, right? Let's get this bread. Sounds like some sort of enthusiasm. <gasps> Maybe it's too much enthusiasm. I don't know how that shit works. Hmm, never mind then. No, so no, no. When we get funding, so every time, so we don't start wasting, like, <laughs> get, so when our weapons start breaking, then we. Yeah, no. Jerry's not that <laughs> smart, to be fair. Holy oh, fuck. I saw him like. Holy oh, I mean, fuck. Fuck you, Logan. Genuinely fuck you. Holy. Sorry, sorry. Continue, continue. I need to talk with you. To be fair, out of character, I need to talk with you. I need to talk with you. I have a quest. Huh? At some point in roleplay, can we please try to work together to making Phoenix and Orin actually friends again? <laughs> No. <laughs> Please, I hate, I, I hate the, the thought of them being mad at, like, not friends forever. 
You you <laughs> actually okay like. Funny joke-wise, no. But, like, realistically, yes. Like, that's probably going to happen anyway. Because, one, you're the only one that actually has Aubrey's um, memories. And, two, um, he was instructed by Amaris to kind of, like, try and make amends to some, to some degree. Yeah. Well, he, he heard when, uh, when Orin told you that it was both consensual. Like, Aubrey did it to save his life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> he's he's just upset. He's he's not necessarily upset at the fact. Well, he okay. He's sad. He's very very fucking sad. Hang on. Let me let me just turn my stream off. Oh, you're streaming? Well, not stream. Um, recording.